You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros. Fuck the idols. Fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. So, if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Why? Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. We know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall. And I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a lot. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? That's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? 
Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleagues' demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Alpha team, go. First day on the job. Don't fuck up. Newbie, catch up. Right. Let's kick some. Holy shit. Turrets, take cover. Ah. That was close. Ah. <laughs> oh. ah. Jesus Christ, it's my first fucking day. Shit. Anybody left? Me. Thanks. Thanks. We have to rendezvous with Bravo team and we're dead. Keep pushing forward. I'll meet you there. Copy that. Welcome to the Daily Grind. Hey, you! We gotta find... Fuck! Shit. That helps. Better hustle, newbie. Bravo team is ready to move in. I'm not exactly taking a coffee break here. Marshal scum! Don't bite me! <gasps> Newbie, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use this APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Let's go! Through the breach! Go, go, go! Keep it up, Pete! Let him have it! Yeah! You got fucked with the wrong multinational private military corporation! They won't see me coming! Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? We got a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive the collection. Got it! Just trying to understand the pay structure. Oh. Bailey, hold up! Marshal, clear the field! Yes, ma'am! Whoa, take the turret! I got it! I'm good with these! No, that's not- You are damn lucky we don't have time to argue. Ruby, they got the RPG up top. Good work. Now engage the others. Striking the target! Ugh. Reload! Ugh. See? Told you I was good with these! Just shut up and shoot! They're all dead, or there's no signal. Guess I should push on and find the Nuwali myself. The Nuwali wants them all dead! Iriotas, get behind cover! Ah! Things we do for rent. Ah! We kill fuckheads like you every day. <laughs> Eliminate the intruder! Ah! 
At least I don't have to wear a suit. Finally, end of the tunnel. Gwen, hello, do you read me? Nobi, you're still alive? Yeah, I hear that a lot. Wally's holed up in the saloon up ahead. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box him in. In a minute, gonna clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. It's on my way. Besides, we don't want them coming up behind us later. Fine, but next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. Got that? Uh, yes ma'am. This one's asking for it! Going in for a flank! Guess you assholes are just working stiffs too, huh? An honest living. Ah! Uh. Oh. Ah! Got to earn that performance bonus. I should take out that barricade. Couldn't do that at my last job. Nobi, over here! Glad you could join us. Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Nobi, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can... Yes, ma'am. Saloon's right around this bend. Get ready and remember the plan. Team, let's take it. Uh, them professional. Ooh. Newbie, I told you to fight left. No plan survives contact with the enemy. Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? 
Mr. Nawali, you're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean, yeah. Hey, where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me! Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't! Nawali, there's nowhere to hide. Ooh, ah! You're surrounded. Make it easy on yourself. Ha! What the? I can't find him. Never mind. Get back here and regroup. We got the bastard bottled up with nowhere to run. Ah! We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support now. Stand down. We don't got time for hero bullshit. Don't worry. I got this. Gwen, we've got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Oh, shit. Brains. God damn right I do. You're too predictable. Am I? Ugh. <clears throat> 
you tried. I'll give you that. Get your hands in the air! I caught him! Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbon the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. Fall in line? What the fuck? No, what the actual fuck? What the actual goddamn fuck? What the actual goddamn motherfucking goddamn fuck? line. I'm baking up a slamming congratulatory brunch for when you get home to celebrate your first day on the job. It's gonna be dope. Oh, and it's official. I'm gonna be spinning at that idols party I told you about, so hope you can come. TTYL. Hey there, it's Nina. So excited about your new gig. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, they, they went with someone else for the junior art curator job, so... Looks like I'm still stuck with Los Panteros. Anyway, I'm glad one of us had a good day at least. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. Speaking of which, um, when you asked to borrow my copy of Be Your Own Boss, I assumed it was because you wanted to read it, not to level out the coffee table. So let's talk about that when you get back. Can't wait to hear about all the HR forms I'm sure you had to sign. Everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? 
Fine, 15. W what sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> hey, the wage slave is back. How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. I can tell you love it. Okay. I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. Phew. <laughs> I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? I uh, played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, oh, my CO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brunch is done, dishes are clean. Let's go rob a payday loan place. And you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes! So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Ooh, can we take a hybrid? Eli, I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency, but I'm thinking acceleration is gonna matter more. Your carbon footprint always matters. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you cased the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front, and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. Who's there? Let's get psyched. But only you oh, can decide no. how you this react crap to again. Hey, only What's the you rule? can choose Don't to yuck someone's to yum. That life throws your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness. Be your own boss. That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm going to get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people go. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. 
same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. And Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGilligan. No! no. Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. Monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. The cops are now en route to the Payne place. Sounds like they're out in force. Crap. Bad time for a train. I got cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you. And then bam, send them into a ditch. Gotta speed up. Remember to keep your speed up. You'll do more damage the faster you go. Yeah, going too slow. The best hit comes from full side-to-side -side contact. You need speed for a good side swipe. damage the faster you go. Another one down. Ha! <laughs> that took care of them. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What? what the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. We take you no problem. Hot I don't have time for this shit today. No one pulls a job here without Sergio. I needed that fucking car. That's right. The things I do to pay my rent. I'm coming for you. You wanna die for that piss and cough? Uh. 
problem. Los Pentero scrapped my switch car. They what? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off-road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. Up the ass. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. for a ride? You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry, we'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities, if you know where to look. you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. When you say friends, do you mean friends friends or special friends? All my friends are special. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. I'll like them fine as long as their money's good. Thanks, Kev. I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. Where are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would've got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? 
What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No, then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. JR, we about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something. You gonna just let him shoot at us? When was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something. All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine, just this one. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. and report. Ah, oh, fuck, they have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do, unless you want to take that thing out. I... God damn it, get in closer. Wait, what are you doing? I'm taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. Little bit. I said a little bit. Oh! of our orders. Heads up! You got more incoming! Ah, oh, come on! I was almost done! Well, as long as I'm here. Ruby, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret and one thing led to another. Well, that was good. You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following me. Motherfuckers. Wait, you use me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. JR, pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. Fuck, the car's on fire. Mother fuck! You try to lose them, I'll keep them off our ass. 
Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business. He's charging us. Shoot him. Shoot him. You think you can take my shit? He's coming again. Push him back. Nobody steals from Sergio. I'm a six. Back off, asshole. I see a way out. Keep your head down. It's gonna be tight. Whoa. Woo. You think that guy's compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. They're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need... Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops, then radio... JR, let's get him. Kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? Oh. Oh, I can't get a clear shot. the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just get me into jumping range and fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Let's beat him down. Shit. You won't leave this desert alive. Do not test me. Find uh. uh. Cover. I'm going to do to you what I did. 
into your truck. Oh! Motherfuckers are dead now! Uh, 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 uh. When I followed the convoy, it uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. It's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Eh, I'm not doing anything else. Be right there. Hey, JR, what's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off on my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figured this should be easy. I'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this guy I know. Any idea where they take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope. Just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The 
The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous. Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. That must be the camp. The Collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm, uh, looking to join. You. Idols. A new recruit? Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl, with a snake mask. She'll hook you up. Mask. Being an idol is so amazing. If I bring my friends in, I'll finally move up a tier and make more money. Can't wait to be an official idol! Hi, Cheryl? I'm thinking about joining the idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By like, stealing car parts and shit? Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! But hey, you do you. The idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. You, Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi-enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things? Like car parts? What even is real in a late-stage capitalist digital economy? Boom. Mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike. To me, oh, I heard you bring in big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted a shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. Crazy! Where would you even keep something like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Old Kev, I try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to take back. Fuck off! Thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you fight for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. We fight as one! Ah.
for a lot of laundry. I'm taking those parts. Tether that container and drag it back to JR. Holy shit, you actually did it. Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Kev, what's up? You said you'd be nice to them. I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Shit. Thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. <laughs> Your membership has been revoked! Stay off my lot! Hold on. 
Glad that's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build a garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premiere grand opening at Jim Rob's Garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. Gallo's about to start for the Hummingbird Codex unveiling. I want your security team in place. It's your night to shine. All right, team. Tonight's a big night, so nobody fuck it up. You, uh, Johnson, is the Codex ready for its entrance? Roger that. It's in position, and the display case hover tech is green. Good. I love this tech. Thank you. We're coming here this I'm evening. gonna check in with the boss. We Antonio's speech should be wrapping up. You could join us for this very special celebration. Now, Bravo team. How's it hanging? Uh, fine. A very dear place in my heart. I saw that. Just kidding. Ago, Relax. I was a young intern at the National... And of course, thanks to each and every one of you. Your donations tonight will benefit the international effort to end illegal traffic of stolen antiquities. Mr. Marshall, how was your evening, sir? Fine, fine. But I don't see our guest of honor. Where's my hummingbird codex? They'll be escorting it in any moment. That's what I like to hear. Have you met Myra Starr? She's on the Marshall Board of Directors. How do you do, ma'am? Quite well. So, you're Atticus's new hotshot. That's what it says on my ID badge. Oh, talented and confident. Reminds me of a younger me. Now, what say we celebrate? Go get yourself a drink. Yes, sir. Is it true the mayor will be here later? What do you think you're doing? You don't drink on duty. I'm following orders. Atticus told me to celebrate. <laughs> of course he did. You want a word of advice? Watch your step around Atticus. He only sees results. No problem. That's what I give him. Uh-huh. Hey, what happened to not drinking on duty? I'm not on duty. Have you ever met Atticus Marshall? Now there's a self-made man. Hey, Nina, I can't talk. I'm working security. That's why I'm calling. Los Panteros are about to try to take the Codex back. What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm driving getaway. I'd have called sooner, but I wasn't alone. Fuck. When? Nina, get off your phone. We're going in. Shit. Don't leave anyone alive. What the hell are Los Materos doing here? I've got it under control. You glad you had that drink now? Maybe. No. This is Sergio. Pantero. Bring me the codex. Everyone else, stay the fuck out of my way. Ah, shit balls. We got a security breach. Panteros are in the Paleolithic exhibit. Panteros on level three. Increase the guard on the codex. I can handle this. Where is my head of security? Right here, Mr. Marshall. Get this under control. It's an embarrassment to the company. Yes, sir. I'll get Atticus out of here. Hey, I'm in charge here. You get Atticus out of here, I'll secure the Codex. Uh-huh. Cut 
Pantheus exhibit. Someone get eyes on the Codex. You nuts! That place is full of Panteros! It's faster. I can handle them. The idols have come to save you from yourselves. Make no mistake, we will take the Codex. We will kill you all. We will bring the gift of anarchy to Santo Eliso. We are the idols. Fear us. Idols too? Thanks for the heads up, Kev. What happened to the roommate code? Ooh. A fine monument to grave you built. The oppressors drink and laugh while the enslaved clean up their table scraps. Your so-called Society is a failed experiment. It's time to put it to an end. Time to wash it away. Time to make some noise. Get ready for a whole new world with no pharaohs, no gods, no idols, but us. Stop what you're doing and come here! Another one down. No, it's not necessary! Include running? God damn it, the idols are here too! There's too many of them! We lost Perkins! <laughs> we need backup! The idols are everywhere! Jesus Christ, these psychos keep coming! Taking cover! Never! Please remain calm and follow the ah! I'm almost at the codex. Anyone got eyes on it? The idols are in the codex room. I'm trying to... Away from there. Get lit up. Ugh. Find the rest of the board. I'll get the codex to the safe room. How the fuck do I move it? Your martial ID triggers the sensor. It'll move on its own as long as you stay close. Got it. Access 
access granted. Emergency transport initiated. Resuming safety protocol. The Codex is still up there. Fucking hover tech. Somebody report. I got separated from the Codex. Anyone have eyes on it? Negative. I got nothing. It's just chaos here. Damn it. The door's blocked. Need something to bust through that gate. Cool cannon. Room's a dead end. Dynamite! Ah, oh, shit, it's fake. Busted RPG? No fixing that. Rocket needs something to fire it with. I have an idea. Sergio? Let's go, motherfucker! Yes! When? When? Ooh. That is one big asshole. When? You're alive! Don't celebrate yet. Sergio got away. I got most of the board locked down, but I can't find my response. Ah, keep an eye out for him. Ah! <laughs> Fight! 
fucking minigun? I fuck. Someone help me. Miss Stark, hang on, I'll cover you. Oh god, it's you. Better find cover. I'll hold them off. Fucking peachy! Sergio's ordering those banderos to fall back. Did he get the codex? No, and he's pissed. I gotta drive. See you at home. You can come out, Miss Star. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are really good at this. It's not my first time shooting up a place with a minigun, ma'am. Just the first time people are happy I did it. How the fuck did this happen? Shit. What's going on, sir? You. Sir, I know I made a little mess protecting the museum, but we have to look at the big picture. The threat's been neutralized, Mistar is safe, and, as you can see, the Codex is secure. A mess? Yes, there is a goddamn mess! I don't... I don't understand. Well, you were wasting time with her. The idol stole the Codex and replaced it with a fake! Sir, I wasn't wasting time. I was saving... Do you think I give a shit if Myra Star lives or dies? Atticus. You are replaceable. You are replaceable. That was not. Sir, I can lead a team to retrieve the Codex. The hell you can. You're fired. What? You're done. If I see you on Marshall property again, I'll have you shot. We'll make this right, Antonio. I promise. Thank you. I am sorry. I just got word that the idols are planning on attacking the museum. Hey, it's Kev. I, uh... I made your breakfast if you want some. That's cool if you don't. Nina wasn't hungry either. Uh, uh. I'm sorry about last night. I didn't hear about the museum until it was too late to warn you. The Collective don't tell me shit. You should come to the Idols party with Eli and I later. Open bar? No? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. Just, uh... Just know that Eli and I are worried about you guys. Later.
Well, looks like we both got fucked over. Yeah. No work today? I'm leaving Sergio's group text on red. Fair. Los Panteros have been going downhill since he started leading. We used to be about family. Now it's all about him. Plus, he's zero for two this week, and that just makes him pissy. I want to eat my feelings. Oh, come the fuck on. God damn it. Stupid refurbished appliances. Figures. Welcome back to the Cutting Room, the premier auction experience for knife connoisseurs of all ages. Our first stop, Lung Piercer, a contemporary update on the classic Shiv, the Lung Piercer. Looks like we got a shopper in Santa Waliso that knows their stabbing implements. Let's bring out the next item. It's been a hell of a day here on the Cutting Room, but I've been saving the best for last. The Judas 3000. If Brutus had had one of these bad boys, he wouldn't have needed the Senate to help stab Caesar. How many knives did you end up buying? Not enough. Hey, Sergio just texted us. <sighs> he has to be pretty pissed. Yeah, says he's planning on attacking the idols party. Man, I'd hate to be the idols right now. Everyone at that party is probably gonna get killed. Sucks to be Kevin Eli. Yeah. Oh shit! We gotta go. They're not coming, are they? They'll get over it, man. Don't worry about it. They're totally pissed at me. They'll get over it. Give them time. You mind if I get a drink? You do you, man. Can I have a white wine spritzer? You okay? I, I I don't think so. Get in and drive fast. Where's the party? The resort. We gotta move. Try to get a hold of Eli. I'm gonna call Kev. Come on, come on, come on. You picking up? Nothing. You? Yo, no. this is Fuck. Kevin. My I got voicemail. Silent, Same so here. leave a message after I drop the beat. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kev, call me. I'm gonna call Sergio. Maybe I can put a stop to this. He'll never listen. It's worth a try. Why? No who decided to get back to me. Sergio, you gotta call this off. My friends are in there. I'm the friend you should be worried about. You are taking Los Panteros to war just because you think Marshall and the Idols embarrassed you. You're saying some shit you're gonna regret, Nina. Call it off or I quit. You ain't gonna quit. Try me. He's calling. Kev's calling. Put it on speaker. Kev, you all right? I'm fine, but Eli... They fucking shot me! You're doing great, Eli. Stay cool. Where are you guys? Eli's behind the bar. I'm keeping him covered. Nina and I are on our way. Keep Eli alive. Got it. Please don't hang up. Eli, listen to me. 
Nina and I are gonna kill every motherfucker standing between us and you. And that means we're gonna need both hands, okay? Okay. You're gonna be fine, I promise. Shit, the Banderos group chat is blowing up. They set up roadblocks on the bridges. We're gonna have to go through your crew, Nina. Los Panteros aren't my crew anymore. Eli and Kev are all that matters. You ready? Let's get our boys back home. Oh, Nina! She's turned on us! No! Los Panteros turned on me! Kev! Eli! We're here! That's right. They're here. We're gonna get you out, but you'll have to walk. Oh. I'll, I'll try. Shit. Shit? Shit what? What now? Los Panteros should have left the party crashing to the experts. Looks like you're gonna back the fuck off. No, 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 no! They're cool, they're with me. If they're with you, then you get to kill them. I guess this is my last night in the park. You don't need this fucking cult anyway, Kev. What she said. Let's finish what you started and get Eli out of here. Yes, please. I mean, you are getting out of here. Not in one piece. Not realize it's six bucks you are not alive! You're not alone with us tonight! You and your friends are obsolete! Okay, Eli, let's go! Oh man, we're in the shit now! We just pissed off the idols and Los Panteros! Yeah, big time. So let's not stick around until they come back. Agreed, let's move. And this time I'm driving. Acceleration. Oh, what about the gas mileage? Fuck the gas mileage!
him up. Shit. Panteros are coming after us. That's it. I've had enough for one day. Keep driving. I'm gonna teach these fuckers a lesson. You sure? You got them coming up fast. Well, I got an RPG and some shit to work out. So let's see how that goes for them. That went well. I don't want to die before I make my first million. You're not gonna die. I got you, buddy. Stay with us, Eli. We're almost out of this. I know. But if you want to learn from your mistakes, instead of getting hit on it, what are you going to do? Not bad. Oh. These fuckers are relentless. I know how to lose them. Stay low. Your friends deserve better. You deserve better. You are more than a cog in a corporate machine. You are not defined by Hang your on. Death or your useless degree. If your life is stuck in neutral, there's only one person. Uh, Nina? Not now. Damn, nice job. Never doubt me. Let's get Eli somewhere safe. A lot of times the truth. Why aren't we at the hospital? Because you don't have insurance. I don't really care. You would if you saw what they charged to fix a flesh wound. Kev, where's the... Hall closet, Yo, top shelf. Okay, this is gonna suck, buddy. You're doing great. You're being very brave. Fuck you. Hey, keep talking to Kev like that, and you won't get a star on the star chart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, what are we gonna do? Finish sewing you up. Yeah, and then what? The idols and Panteros aren't exactly our number one fans right now. Isn't that obvious? We're starting a criminal empire. What? Your car was right, Eli. About everything. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Guys, we're really good at what we do. So why are we doing it for other people and not ourselves? I mean, you know how to start a business. Kev knows how to get attention. <laughs> I'm a walking murder party. And Nina? Nina's the best goddamn driver in the business. Who could touch us? Hell, we just took on two crews at once and walked away just fine. I was shot. And you're getting a sticker, so quit bitching. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Eli? Guys, this is a little crazy. What happened to there being a difference between surviving and thriving? Well, I survived being shot, and now I want to thrive without being shot again. Nina's down. Kev's down. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat suffers no fools. <laughs> and neither should you. Ugh. <sighs> Is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Just a reminder, we're having our first company meeting in a bit. Don't be late. Company meeting. Nice euphemism. I'll be right there. Ah. 
I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. You saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I wanna be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of. I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. We pissed off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves. They're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey man, just being real. For me, we need it to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so we'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build a garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch fine. I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church, near Fort Cullen. The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned, so it's cheap. And it's got a fucking graveyard, so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Let's go. I'll drive. Where is this church? Up on 3rd. Oh, that place. Look at these pictures. The architectural details look amazing. Let me see. Nina, this place is in ruins. I said it was a fixer-upper. There's a fine line between fixer-upper and money pit. Relax. The listing says it's being restored by a developer. John Bland. John Bland? The real estate king of Santo Elisa? Is he the guy on all those billboards? Why does a guy that into self-promotion stick with a name like Bland? Bland is no Roger McCullough. If it does restore the place, and we can still get it for cheap, it might work out. Assuming the restorations preserve the original facade. You're not gonna worry about preservation when I put in my state-of-the-art kitchen, are you? We can discuss that later. heavy equipment for a renovation. Looks more like a demolition crew. He's gonna restore this place in the condos. Not if we do something about it. Get who wants to demo a demo crew? Not bad. So 
much for that demolition crew. Attention! This property is protected by Marshall Defense Industries. Hug the bulldozer and come out with your hands up! What the fuck are these Marshall Rent-A-Cops doing here? Shit. Glan must contract with them for security. Oh, fun. Hang tight. I'll take care of them. the last of them. Damn. Sounds like the drivetrain overheated. Guess it wasn't designed with you in mind. Marshall's down, but they'll be back as long as Bland owns the deed to the property. Then let's get into cell. After this? Not likely. Then we'll shake him down and make him hand it over. The idols used to do stuff like that all the time. Good call. Kev, you're with me. Where's Bland even at? Uh, let's call the number on those billboards and find out. Bland here. One sec. Mr. Mayor, been an honor talking to you. Sounds like he's at City Hall. All right, who's this? Mr. Bland, I'm calling to take that old mission church off your hands. Huh? Wait, are you the asshole who just wrecked my demolition site? Listen, fuck nut, you set foot on one of my properties again, I'll make sure you can't buy so much as a tool shed in this town. Well, that was uncalled for. Eh, let's go take his ass for a little ride. Taking it around the block. Is that him in that car? Mm, same dickish face as the billboards. How's the gas mileage? Hi there, me again. You gonna make this easy and give me the deed to the church? You? Go fuck yourself. Bad answer, John. I hope you don't get car sick. Let's show this shitbag a little Santo Eliso drift. Stop the fucking car! He's going for the door. Speed up! What are you doing? What are you doing? John, we are. Now give us the deed. No way! Okay. Guess we're gonna have to play hardball. Where are you taking me? I told you. 
to play hardball in traffic. I have my own bus. I have my own bus. Hey, don't slow down. Dude might try to jump out. Get us all killed! This is how you do business? That's right, man. We're local! Just give us the deed. No! <laughs> Guess the ride's not over yet. Final offer, John. You're not leaving here unless we get what we want. Think you can handle a little airtime? I'm gonna be sick! damn priest case just leave me alone pleasure doing business with you this car is also ours now too so get the fuck out that worked great we got the deed and a briefcase yeah plus we blew up some shit did some sick drifts and uh stole the church all in a day's work ready to head home home i like the sound of that Ooh, i'm gonna post about it Yada yada da, yada da da da. Hashtag take me to church, hashtag new digs who this, hashtag list. And posted. Oh, look, I already got a like. Seriously? How many followers do you have there? DJ Kev has his fans. Marshal backed off. You get the deed? Yep, we got the dude's whole briefcase. Let's get inside. You got the keys? Keys? No, just the briefcase. No problem. I'm sure I can get in through a window or something and open it up. Why don't we just break down a door? Uh, not my door. Whoa, calm down, Dad. Do you know how much a door costs? We own this place. We have to pay for that shit.
Nina was right. This place is awesome. Hey, check it out. Cool graveyard. Yeah. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Oh, shit. You better hear this. Hi, Kevy. We saw your post. Congrats on the new dicks. We adore your takedown of that gentrifying dick. Who is that? The Collective. The Idols want to throw you a housewarming party. Fuck. Their parties get violent. No thanks. I wasn't asking. Duh. <laughs> See you soon, Kevin. Uh... I'll get the door. Hang tight. We've got company coming. Have you seen what's in this briefcase? Not now, Eli. Get inside. And maybe revisit your stance on guns. Some backup in the graveyard. I'm coming, Kev. Kev doesn't want you. Get over it. This housewarming party. Hell of a housewarming. Guess all that's left to do is check out the new digs. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still. We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? You got damn right we are. Oh, 
At least we've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints. I've been thinking, now that the Saints are a real organization, I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, which means? I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, yeah, sure. Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick-ass practice range. Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. Very impressive, I see what you were doing there. Next, my research said, keep your eyes open when you shoot? Sure. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at, and then just aim for it, like this. Damn! Yeah, I get it. What about breath control? I read a lot about exhaling when you pull the trigger. Honest to God, Eli. In a big firefight, I pay no attention to how I'm breathing. I just... well, look. Oh, and my research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? What the fuck's the difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. Very impressive. I see what you were doing there. Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh... We're probably near one of their Black Ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall land will be shot! Grab a gun. <laughs> You're fair think? game now! Hey! Hey! I got one! Good job, man. See what I mean about the dot thing? That went well. You won't this get dance? away with our training dance? secret! This oh. is our piece of abandoned dirt! Uh. Oh. Hey, I'm pretty good at this. This is what we call a target-rich environment. Woo! More trucks coming. Let's take them. Uh, this may be a bit much for a beginner. Get in the car. You drive. I'll do the covering fire from the uh, roof thing. Wait, that's not... Oh, boy. Ah! Yeah, okay, you're fair okay, game okay, now. Okay. Yeah, you better run. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Should have got the roof rack. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get back get here and face, face the music! music. How do you aim like this? 
What am I doing? I'm gonna puke. Fuck! Don't let them escape. Oh my god, there's so many of them. You won't get away with our training secrets. This is dangerous. That was maybe a, a bit more hands-on learning than I was hoping for. Hey, nah, you did great out there. I guess next time I'm in a tight spot like that idols party, I can slow him down. But I think I'll leave the car roof shit to you from now on. This place has so much potential. I can't wait to decorate. I've got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We don't exactly have the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with like a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk. Right, so here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. All right, let's head back and see what we got. Teddy, she was cool. Still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ah, uh, Melissa. She has a good heart. How about we put the cannon here? Nice. That looks badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Busy? I need your help with something. It's really important. I'm here. What's up? We need to get over to FB's ASAP. They're re-releasing the Mecha Burger. The what? The toy. Don't you remember? It looks like a hamburger, but turns into a robot. Limited edition re-release. Let's go. You know, I think I had a 
a Mecca Burger way back when. Everybody had one the summer I was nine. It was the most popular kids meal toy FB's ever produced. And you want to relive your childhood. Sure, no problem. Oh, shit. Do you think they're all here for the Mecca Burger? Doesn't matter if they are. We can just muscle up to the head of the line. Welcome to FB's. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. Hi. May I please have a chicken brat box meal with a Mecca Burger toy? In purple, if you have it. We're out of Mecca Burgers. Shit. Well, there's another FB's in Marina del Lago. Let's try there. The Marina's FBs is also out. The next closest is a Mercado. And there are two in the flats, but we should try Mercado first. Dude, why is it so important to get a new one of these? Oh, I didn't have an old one. I never got one when I was a kid. It came out when I was in foster care, so, you know. Oh, right. Let's get you a fucking Mecca Burger. What the hell are the idols doing here? Being pretentious anarchists and getting in everybody's way, what else? Well, they're between me and my kid's toy, so let's fix that. Mega Burger. Hey, my friend here needs a chicken kids meal with a Mecha Burger toy. In purple. They're all gone. Those horrible people in pink stole the entire shipment. They said something about striking a blow against capitalistic materialism and soggy French fries. Fucking idols. They really are a bunch of thugs. Taking joy from children. Children, they took joy from you. Buckle up. There they are. Get them to pull over. Not sure whether to ram or shoot. Whatever. Just don't blow up the delivery car. Just give up and pull over. Go for their flank! It's so much easier when I can use a rocket launcher.
are now the proud owner of 500 limited edition Mecha Burgers. Nah, I just want one. But maybe sometime you could help me bring the rest down to the county orphanage? Absolutely. I wonder if I still have that old Santa Claus costume somewhere. Doesn't that costume have a shirt? Not when I wear it, baby. Hey, Eli. What's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Oh. Uh, that sounds pretty corporate structury. There'll be donuts. On my way! Okay. So we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit. My contacts all have their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints? Couldn't hurt to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin. <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay. Go be superstars. Meantime, I'm going to finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those bad terrorists are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Panteros problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. Pantero's fucking with their business. You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio said this jacked up mountain of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. You take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. Jim Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again. You're dead. The old man sent you? Oh. Uh, oh, 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 damn it. Shit. Tech. 
protect what's ours. Howdy. Hey, JR. I took care of the crew in the park. Well, I'll be. Let's go after their supply lines next. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry, I got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. I'm cleaning up a Panteros problem for JR. Then I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. Ha! <laughs> Bet all he has to do is buy them coffee to get them to sign on, while I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on, you know you love it. I really do. This ain't your territory, dumbass! It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you ain't safe. You're about to get stumped! Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Fuck, well, better hurry. One last time. Stay away from JR.
Sergio's not gonna forget this! What are you taking? That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of them to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. Well, we can count JR in. What is this? It's not board game night. No. This is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church... ...and Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Okay, look, there's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross, it's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. Big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. What? Why don't the customers bring them here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then fuck them. Now hear me out. For an additional transport fee, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine, I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. I put the first one on the map for you. Hey, uh, when you got a minute, I could use your help with a personal problem. Sure. 
Everything okay? It's better if I tell you in person. So meet me at the hobby store. I'm just finishing up a supply run. Hey, Eli. Holy shit, what are you wearing? Should I be concerned? Well, the dust moot event is upon us, and I need to join a house if I want to see the best action. Were those real words? What's a dust moot? Get in the car and I'll tell you on the way. Okay. The dust moves to citywide LARP I do every year. I applied to join House Dust Storm, but they said I don't have enough XP. Slow it down there, bud. What the fuck's a LARP? Live action roleplay. Oh, like wizards and shit. Well, the dust mood is more of a, um, post apocalyptic meets Knights of the Round Table kind of thing. And you want to join House Dust Storm, which is a building? Think of it like a team. Ah, but they won't let you join, so you want me to bust some heads. No, I just need someone to grind with. Don't we all? Not like that. Like grinding for XP, so we help? Fine. Okay! First things first, let's get you suited up. What's wrong with my current look? Thou lookest like a knave in thy garments. And real weapons are forbidden on pain of banishment. Why are you talking like that? I'm in character. But never fear. I know the best place to procure weapons and armor. All this amazing material they just threw out. All I see are cardboard and fabric remnants. Exactly. Now, to don thy armor. Let's don away. Great. I'll just put this here, that there, and done. Your first LARP outfit. Had to use the last of my duct tape, but it was worth it. At least it's comfortable. Here. This is the LARP weapon I used when I started out. I like to pass it on to you. Oh, thank thee? Try it out, shoot someone. Um, okay. Not me! See, the whole city plays the dust move. They die a worthy death, they get on with their day. Weird, but cool. Now you're ready to play. Let's go join House Dust Storm. So why have I never heard of this LARP stuff before now? I have no idea. You never heard Gwen Terrio talk about it? Wait, Gwen plays this? My old CO Gwen? Yeah, she runs House Phoenix. Wait, she never mentioned it? LARP is like the only thing that gives her life meaning. I've got money on her winning the whole event. So it would really get to her if we won. We, what, win it? Yeah, that would get to her. I hope it's not too late to change my bet. Well, then I'm 100% in. Great, now. Promise me you'll honor the rules of the dust mood. Yeah, of course. No claiming that the other players missed you when their attacks actually hit. No problem. No actual killing of players. Fine. Fine? Yes, deal, okay? For a game, you're really taking the fun out of it. We need to head off road here. Now thou must face the warriors of House Tapeworm. House what now? Tapeworm. What happened to Dust Storm? We're gonna set a Tapeworm beacon on fire. Then Dust Storm will have to let us join. Ugh, this game requires strategy. Why don't I just shoot whoever isn't you? Shoot? LARP shoot. There they are. Let's park and walketh on foot. <gasps> Do mine eyes deceive me? What brings Elijah the Wise to the land of Tapeworm? Seek ye to join with the Great Worm? Nay, I am here on behalf of House Duststorm. <laughs> Lies. We know thou art houseless. Duststorm shall welcome us with open arms once we torch thy beacon. Yeah, on guard, shit lords. We shall take you down. On guard! Born one day. Now, we light the beacon on fire and await Tapeworm's arm response. Hell yeah!
That was well rehearsed. I can see no light. Mother, is that you? Now we just need to inform Fort Dustor. We could do that. Or we could start our own house. Be thine own lord. Sounds nice, but we need to build a fort first. So we build a fort. With what? Tapeworm bought all the duct tape in the city to keep people from doing exactly that. It's a cheap move, but technically legal. So we sack their fort and take their supply. Really? Verily! What do we call our house? We need a good name, something inspiring. House Sand... something. House... Sandy... Kraken! Yes! What? Seriously? We are Sandy Kraken. I have spoken. It is memorable. Shit, that's a nice place. Yeah, and impossible to get in unnoticed. We could get them to invite us in. That's genius. Let me do the talk. Oh, who goes there? Tis I, Elijah the Wise, and... Quick, wh what's your character's name? I don't know. And Bosonius the Bloody. What business had we here? I wish to... to join with the Great Worm. Huzzah! Thou hast seen reason and rejected the ways of the dust storm? Aye, they are dicks, and I shall rejoice when they are crushed. Enter, friend. We shall watch their destruction together. All right, now just play it cool until I give the signal. Wait for it. Wait for it. Attack! Your fort just got preggers! Treachery! Is lost. But the war! I am Bosonius the badassist! Pew, pew, pew! My comrades will avenge me! Tell the others! Elijah, I'm doomed! Do 
pew, pew. Load. No firearm, just me. Next slice. Pew, pew, pew. From my eyes. Uh. A pox on your house. Their stock just tanked. The Great Worm's treasure hoard must be close. Check on yonder pedestal. Just ammo, no duct tape. Then we must search the ruins of this fort. The bottle caps? Huzzah! You have found quite the fortune. Hey Eli, what's this two ninety nine stuff? Tis but a microtransaction. Check thine coin purse for funds. Mimic. Hmm. Don't fucking touch that! That's not loot! Okay, calm down. I won't touch it. Not seen any duct tape, Eli. The loot must be in the belly of the great tapeworm itself. You must slay the beast to retrieve the treasure. That's the rules. Oh, I shall enter through its gullet! And I shall wait here, for I am claustrophobic. To kill the beast, you must burst the polyps inside. Polyps? I can't tell if that's disgusting or awesome. I think they did it for Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and then it just stuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm good. dead, so I'm gonna lay on the floor? In a Death yes! is a release from pain. Ah. No surprise there. See the light. Mama, is that you? I see the treasure. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Ah. Pew, pew, pew. My battle is lost, but the war continues.
This is a shit ton of duct tape. Now, fell beast, void me from thy fundament! Got the duct tape? I guess we're gonna create our own house. Aye. Together, we shall burn Gwen and House Phoenix into ash. And have a fun bonding experience, right? Yes, that too. Is that you? The fucking Pantero stole my fucking car! Your project car? <sighs> yes! This is Sergio's stink all over it! I need your help! I'm getting my car back, with interest! On my way. Let's go get my car back. You want the wheel? I try not to drive angry. So? Any idea where they took your car? If they stole it, they're gonna chop it. But you know Sergio. We want to make it personal first. Take it from the men, drag racing. Show the Panteros who's boss. Most likely place he'd do that is at the culvert in Smelterville. Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. He knows what that car means to me. Damn, I don't know if I ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a world-class crap set. You spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's got to make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I just, you know, bang. Not that I want him to do that to you. It just seems he's... That's not how it works in Los Panteros. You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing. Got him. Here's the culvert. They aren't gonna be happy to see you. Whatever. As long as I get my car. Oye, cabrones! Donde esta mi carro? Shit! It's Nina! Uh. This is what happens when you touch our stuff. Yeah. Don't play That's dumb right. with me! Big mistake, Nina! Shoulda just let it go! Got no place here. Uh, 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 I'm gonna get you for that. Perfect hit. Go. Stay on all sides. Oh, oh, oh. This is oh, our party, oh, Saints. Already be chopping it. We gotta get to the garage. We don't have time. Vamanos. What if we're too late? Sergio's people are professionals. We'll cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. So you could rebuild it then? Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble.
Hola, Gabriel. Where's my car? It's not here. No digas pendejadas. We both know you chop Sergio's special projects. I don't think he's gonna talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait, what did you say about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. But fuck up their car and they're nothing. Wait, what? Oh, my paint job, my fucking paint job. My car! What are you doing? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? Oh no, 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 no. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Drive now to the quarry. I don't get it. What's that mean? What's the quarry? It means Sergio doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for scrap. You mean he's gonna... Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. If we don't stop him, that crap sack. Hang on, we got all kinds of Panteros up our ass. I think we really pissed him off on this one. Yeah! Ah! Thought they could kill me? Please, 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 please. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Got something for you. Don't let anything slow you down. Surprise there. <sighs> that fucking Sergio. We're getting close. Step on it. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Ah, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna 
fuck with my family. I'm gonna fuck with Iz. Hey man, you busy tonight? I'm at the gym. It's leg day. Why? I was gonna make popcorn and binge watch telenovelas till dawn. Yes, we can finally find out who killed Corazon. I'll meet you at the church as soon as I'm done here. You just waking up? Telenovela binge last night. Kev was supposed to join, but he stood me up. That doesn't sound like Kev. Plus, he left his inhaler here, and he's not answering my texts. You think he's okay? I'm sure he's fine. I can run the inhaler to him just in case. Without interrupting anything, I hope. I'm tracking his phone. Looks like he's at the Snake Oil Saloon. The biker bar? Maybe he's back with Tattoo Mom again. Oh, I liked her. I know, right? Come on, Kevin. Pick up. Yes? Oh, hey. You're not Tattoo Mom. Uh, I was looking for Kevin. Yeah, man. Kevin is, uh, shall we say, a little tied up at the moment. Wow, I did not need that detail. I'm just gonna drop this off. Idols? Wait a minute. Kev's not the fun kind of tied up. Those fucks. Where the fuck is Kevin? Kevin ain't here, so fuck off. <clears throat> fuck you, Saint. Fuck you, Saint. Tell me where he is. Anyone answer a simple question? That's Kevin's ringtone. I must be going now. Kev, finally! It's me, Eli. The idols got Kevin. Shit. 
All right, I'll track their socials and see what I can find. Great. I'll work the problem from my angle. I still need one to interrogate. You gotta go. Now, I'll get you in. It doesn't have to be a date date. Someone's in there. Yes, I'm on the can. So? Someone in here! Fuck off! with your camp until you tell me where Kevin is. Fuck you! Let me go! I'll let you go. As soon as you talk. Uh, uh, I up my nose! You can't do this! I have rights! You don't so much right now. This isn't happening! Credibility. I'm gonna puke! Come on! Just so you know, I still got half a tank of gas. Except Kevin's location. Come on, now. You don't understand. Don't kill me in my car. Suit yourself. This is sick. What is wrong with you? All right, all right. I'll tell you where the crater is. It was the collective. They took him to the top of the big Santo Elizo sign. You promised! I never said I'd let you out. I only said I'd let you go. Eli, you pick up anything on the socials? Yeah, some big idols party at a mansion and a, a timer counted down. Let me guess. A mansion by the Santo Aliso sign. I'm headed there now. The collective is behind it. You might need backup. Kev's all the backup I'll need. All right, bring him home. No distractions, just get to Kev. Oh, 
Nothing's getting between me and Kev. Ah! Nut jobs rig bombs all the way up? Take it cover. Okay, remember your martial training. Oh! You won't listen to reason! Uh! Heaven's gonna send a message sky high! Uh! Uh! Surprise there. Look at you, pathetic. Running like a hamster so intent on the wheel that it never sees its cage. Kevin saw the cage, once, but he chose to stay nested in his wood chips. Now he pays the price. Halfway there. You fuckers think you can stop me now? There we go. I can do this. Now I cut this wire. Your pal's gonna die oh. an idol! Where you hiding, you rat? Oh. Steady hands, steady hands. Let's see how fast you run now, little hamster. Did she just speed up the timers? God damn. Idols, time to flee or become martyrs. The freedom to choose, as always, is yours. Kevin! Over here! Oh, man. Am I glad to see you? Let me deal with this last bomb and we'll get out of here. Damn it. I should have waited for you on the telenovelas. So, who killed Corazon? Oh, shit. Her spirit possessed the priest and testified that her evil twin... Never mind. We'll rewatch them together. There. That's the last bomb. Wow. You saved me. You're like, literally my hero. What now? Now? Say we wingsuit down to that mansion and teach those motherfucking motherfuckers what happens when they kidnap a saint. Be the motherfucking way.
you were hoping for, huh? All of them? Yep. Oh, thanks for the rescue. I really owe you one. Ah, forget it, man. We're family. The idol said they were my family, too. Well, some families tie you to a chair so they can watch you explode, and others don't. Yeah. Thanks for being the second kind. Always. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a plan, but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Pantero's HQ. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Got it. Meet me at the FBs in Mercado. So, you've said you've got a plan. Yep. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how exactly? Today's the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue day. 
Everybody will be outside for lunch. The factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, I know where they keep the oxyacetylene tanks for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom. No more forge. Damn. That is a plan. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. How are we gonna get inside the Scorpion factory? By liberating a helicopter from the aerial gun range. The what now? It's a tourist thing. They rent out helicopters with machine gun turrets, then fly them over the desert and shoot... I don't know, whatever's out there to shoot. This is for fucking real. I know, right? Fine. If stealing a tourist assault helicopter gets me inside the factory, whatever. I do know a guy I could borrow one from, but his rates are pretty high. Hey, you need a ticket! I don't want the smoke. So, this forge thing we're blowing up. It's the giant furnace Los Panteros use to make all the custom gear and weapons and bling for their cars. Huh, that'll cut Sergio off at the knees. It'll do more than that. The forge is symbolic. It's power and protection and home and hearth. Everything Los Panteros are supposed to be about. Forget his knees. We're gonna rip out his heart. Barbecue day, just like I said. Didn't expect an aerial assault on your lunch break, did ya? Christ, this thing's for tourists? Guess I won. Reinforcements. They look like ants from up here. On the way. This is why I brought you along. No. Looks like there's guards on the roof. Take them out too. We'll get inside. We'll have to go in through the vent.
We're in. Let's blow some shit up. Fuck up their cars and they're nothing, right? Exactly. You wreck my car, I wreck all your fucking cars. I was just gonna lie down and take your shit. Not to nitpick, but didn't your plan call for this place to be deserted? It should have been. I must be working double shifts. You look at all this gear. That Sergio's planning something big. Well, we're taking care of that. Sergio's monster truck. Didn't that destroy that thing? I told you, Sergio can use the forge to build anything. will be better. Come with me to the control booth. I'm gonna need the crane. Crane? Your plan didn't include a crane. I would have remembered a crane. Power up that console. It's not working. Shit, you have to activate the junction box. It's down there, next to the oxyacetylene tanks. Nina, what's the play here? No time to explain. You trust me? Absolutely. Then do it. Fuck, the electricity! 
die. I need you to reset the power relays. <laughs> are you doing, Nina? Esto es por ti, mamá. Holy shit! That was me levels of crazy! Now, what was your exit plan? I planned that you'd improvise. I trust you too. Oh, okay then, follow me. What's this? Crush test truck. You need exit plan. Can you get that car working? What 
kind of question is that? Watch my back. What's up, Eli? Meet me at the church. It's time to address our staffing needs. On my way. So, how do we staff up? Easy. I've got a 14-step plan. That sounds about 13 steps too long. Yeah. Why not just go to Boot Hill and show everyone what a badass you are? What's Boot Hill? Are you kidding me? Check out the laptop. Okay. Boot Hill is this live stream fight club kind of thing they do on the abandoned island out in the lake. This sick cat named Doc Ketchum runs the show. Fight club? More like murder circus. We need to recruit more saints, right? Everyone in town with a criminal record watches this live stream. Oh, he's right. I've seen Pantero streaming it. I just didn't know what it was called. But it's crazy dangerous. It's viral marketing. Viral marketing is not supposed to come with a mortality rate. It's like breaking out in the art world. You gotta do something to capture people's attention. This does. Plus it nails our target demographic. I don't know. You're the one who have to do this. What do you think? Y'all had me at Murder Circus. You sure? We cannot afford to lose you. Also, you're our friend, and we'd miss you. Aw, don't worry. I was born for this. Sweet. There's a ferry to the island that docks out back. We can do this whenever you're ready. Let's go join the murder circus. Everything you need will be provided. 
I didn't sign up for this. No surprise there. Even the finest burgers have a tough time. We've got new blood making moves today, folks. This food hill is gonna be a good one. Now, roll in 69 and 99. 
Another one down. God damn. Jesus Christ. So that's what being good at murder means. I know. Seeing it on the leaderboard really puts things in perspective. Should we be scared or reassured? Why not both? Eli, mute your fucking phone. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. These just keep coming in. Who are they from? People who are watching, they want to learn from the master. You know what that means. We got recruits? We got recruits. We got recruits! Don't forget, it's game night tonight. Shit, yeah! It's not my turn to get snacks, is it? After those Marmite-flavored potato chips you brought last time, I don't think we're ever letting you get snacks again. I don't like it, Eli. Yeah, no doubt. This fucker's hogging all the sloths. I'm talking about what we're paying the crew. <laughs> you mean what we're not paying the crew? Bullets and 401ks are expensive. There's a bunch of ways we can get some quick cash. Nina can boost some cars, I'll do hits, Kev can run a bake sale. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Look, man, I know I normally do savory, but I can bake the shit out of some macaron. Meerkat me. Look, if you want insured salary kill bots, we need to bring in a lot more cash. All right, so what? We rob a bank? No. We rob a train. I don't know where this is going, but it sounds like my kind of stupid. Okay, you know how banks have federal requirements for how much cash they need to keep on hand? No. Well, they do. And since the economy in Santo Ileso has skyrocketed, they have to keep bringing in more money to meet the minimums. And let me guess, they move it in by train. It's really more of a mobile fortress. Oh, good. How do you know so much about this? Sergio talked about wanting to hit it every time it rolled into town. But you guys never made a play for it? We never had enough hardware. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. The Forge. That's what they were gearing up for. Oh, so the impossible to rob train is going to be attacked by the Panteros as well. Cool. Look, I'm not saying it would be easy, but we have time to plan. Oh, and Kev, I'm taking your wallabies for the win. <laughs> uh, god damn it. Wallabies. Yes! Okay, so it's a tough job. Let's get some extra muscle. A top tier murder machine to help me out. You have someone in mind? I do. Someone I met during my stint at Marshall. It'll be a tough sell, but I bet we can persuade him. Cool. Let's give him a call. Can't do that. Oh, uh, why? 
He's being detained in a privately owned prison called the Frontier. You want to break out the Nawali, don't you? Assuming he hasn't been extrajudicially murdered by now, yes. What can go wrong? I mean, I could die. But let's be positive. Coming up on the frontier. Shit, that place is a fucking fortress. I'm gonna stay low to avoid detection. We're gonna have to find a way to do the same. You know, maybe actually be stealthy for once. Hey, I can be stealthy. That's why I dug out my old martial uniform to blend in. I'm like a total stealth pro. Seriously? You used a hand grenade to open a bottle of beer. That was one time. On the roof. Stay in the air. I'll be out with our new recruit in no time. 10-4. I'm in. You need to remember to stealth. Keep moving, and don't let any guards get a good look at your face. If they do, I'll bluff my way through. I got this. Hey, I don't recognize you. Yeah, this is my first night shift. Keep moving. Don't give them time to think about it. Attention guests! A reminder that all constitutional protections are suspended on frontier property, pursuant to Congressional Secret Act number 88. Okay. I'm gonna make quick contact with the Nuali, then keep going to the control room to disable the lock on his cell. Make it fast. I don't know how long I can hold this position. We haven't had a shift together in ages. We'll have to catch up after. usually assigned to this section. See? I can so stealth. You know what stealthy people don't do? Squawk about how stealthy they are. Yeah, yeah. VIP cells just down here. Hey, I don't know you. I don't know you either. It's a big company. Want to get out of here? You! You put me in here. Career change. Got a job in mind for you. Sit tight. What are you doing in here? Passing through to meet my CO. How are you getting into the control room? I'm gonna walk in like I own the place and press the button. That seriously does not count as stealthing. It does if it works. Evening. What are you doing? Orders. Whose orders? I give it. Wait a minute. You're the one who got fired because of that museum fiasco. Fuck. I'm good. 
Warning, guard down. Implementing lockdown. Double fuck? Gotta get out of here. Maybe busting the servers. What makes you think there is a we? If there's not, you'll never know why I risked breaking you out. Very well, lead on. Okay, Nina, you were right. I suck it still. I'm gonna do my thing now. You mean shoot your way out. I mean shoot my way out. Door's locked. So we kill all the guards in this room. They'll have to open the door to send reinforcements. Good call. And here I thought I was following you. Nina, sure could use that pickup now. No can do. You started a prison riot. The whole place is lit up like a Christmas tree. I can't get anywhere close. Okay, change of plans. Down instead of up. We'll steal a car. Hmm. Careless, but opportunistic. Interesting. Ah! <laughs> 
main gates are still open. Just get yourself a car and drive through. Get in the car. Oh! Aim for the gates. Perfect hit. I see them. They're headed for the gates. Close the gates. Close the gates. Hurry. They're shutting you in. So much for going out the front. Shit. Nina, you got eyes on an escape route? <sighs> Can't see anything. They're chasing me out of the airspace. Oh, so you only planned half a rescue. There's the guys there. There. We're out of the prison. And how will you get out of the canyon? Uh, to the left. Which is taking us back to the prison. Shit! No, we can drive across the roof. My plan exactly. I'm good. Woo! That was fun, huh? You hungry? Thanks for stopping. Figured you could use a good meal. <laughs> okay. Good's a little generous. All right, it's a lot generous. But I'm willing to bet it's better than what they serve you in the frontier. I appreciate it. And my freedom. Even if you're the one who put me there. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be a problem? I know what it feels like to be judged for following orders. Sounds like a hell of a story. It is. You wanna tell me? We're not friends. We could be. I should go. You need a ride? No, no. It will be nice to walk. But thank you for offering. Call me when you're ready to talk about the job. the Nawali works out, because we really kicked the hornet's nest on this one. What do you mean? I mean, Marshall is out in force. They've set up checkpoints and roadblocks all over the west side of town, looking for you and the Nawali. I can stay ahead of Marshall. Are you sure? Because from what I hear, they have orders to shoot you on sight. Balsonius, the dust moot calls. I have discovered a way to defeat Gwendolyn Firebird. Huzzah! We shall finally win the crown and rub it in her ye old face. I have gathered our forces at the lookout. I shall be there forthwith. Gather round. I have questioned the Lore Keeper and found the greatest weapon in all the realms. The Bowel Rod. This is why you made me come here? I'm out. Wait, it's a car! Of, of a sort. You love cars! Hmm. Okay. This could be interesting. Huzzah! I have the perfect costume for you. Yes. Perfect. This here. I would like the record to show the extent to which I humor my friends. It hath been noted. Elijah the Wise. The call has been answered. House Sandy Kraken stands united against the vile Gwendolyn Firebird. She shall tremble before our collective might. Aye. But first, we must seek out the leader of House Tapeworm. She is the keeper of the Battle Rock, and we must pay her toll. Oh my god. What did I sign up for? Where shall we find this keeper? Well, I called Fort Tapeworm, but she wasn't there. She's at her house. And what price does she demand? A trade. 
The duct tape we liberated from Fort Tape Worm in exchange for their most sacred weapon. A sacrifice indeed. Aye, but worth it. And what is this bowel rod exactly? Tis a great worm that dwells below the desert wastes. The cry of the bowel rod is so mighty, the walls of Fort Thunder Pump shall crumble at its sound. I thought you said it was a car. For those who don't use their imagination, it is. Look, Nina, I was pretty skeptical at first, too. But give LARP a chance. I promise it's worth it. Fine, let's go get this keeper's blessing. Keeper of the Balrod. I am Bostonius of House Sandy Kraken. A new house? Good luck with that. Phoenix and Duststorm have this year locked up. You got my duct tape? It's in the trunk. Great! The Balrod's out back. What's your name, dear? Nina for Leadfoot. What? Okay. The Keeper of the Balrod gives Nina for of House Sandy Kraken her blessing. Go forth and. Whatever. It's a van. Eli, I'm trying to use my imagination, but... What the hell? The deal was the duct tape for the worm. No one told you. Gwen wanted it out of the game, so she dismantled it. You could reassemble it by, I don't know, stealing the props back from House Phoenix, I guess. Then you just do the ritual and you should be good to go. It's all in the rules book in the glove box. Here are the keys. Housemates, we go to Fort Phoenix to claim what is ours. Hear, hear! Now, in typical Gwen fashion, Fort Phoenix is a sprawling, overbuilt compound with a lot of armed guards. So, I propose we use stealth. Cool. We wait until nightfall, come in downwind of them. Oh no, it's not complicated. You just drink a potion, cross your arms in front, and then boom, you're invisible. They won't just shoot me? They can. It's in the rules. What other rules do we need to know? Well, let's see. If you put your arms down, they'll see you. So, that means if you use your weapon or do a melee attack, you lose invisibility. Then how do I stealth attack? You can stealth melee as long as no one else sees you. But if you're spotted, then your cover's blown. So what happens if you die? Then you have to re-roll a new character and go back to having zero XP. It sucks. Trust me. We're here. I've only got the one invisibility potion, so you'll have to go in alone. Drink up. Rip. 
punch. Got him. Oh, I am slain. Torso. Great. Meet me around back, and we'll go find the rest of it. All right. Can we go in guns blazing now? I'm with Ninafer. Not my name. That's such a Ninafer thing to say. Verily. Let's slip the dogs of war. Tell the afterlife Bosonius sent you. You will corrupt all the forest. No one expects Bosonius. Perfect hit. Final breath. Our hero dies. Shotguns, too. Nice. Start putting this thing back together. You two. What? Thy manner of speaking is strange to mine ears. Ugh. I, Nina for Ludfoot, shall conjure the bowel rod in our time of need. I'm so happy I could cry. Now you two go get the last part. When we'll have the head somewhere safe. We shall search her keep. At last they sound the alarm. They know we are here. I lived to die in a fight. Greetings, Gwendolyn. Why am I seeing you on my fort security cameras? I thought I told you to leave my game alone. Your game? And here I thought it was everyone's game. Fuck you. You're doing this just to piss me off. I doth protest thy accusation. Good day. Oh, avoiding fire! Did you hang up on me? I said good day. No, you listen here. I am on my way over there, and I'm gonna kick your ass for real. At... Am I getting pulled over? Hope you're using hands free. Bye. Son of a.
this thing. The Balrog's head must be somewhere here. To you. Fly, my friend. Get that to Ninefer. But what of you? You have no wingsuit. I shall draw the phoenix away to buy you more time. The bow rod is more important than me. Now go! to bring her to life. The instructions say we need a salt circle, so I use the bag of road salt from the trunk. You guys dead yet? The bowel rod is nearly restored. Holy shit! You actually did it? If our two houses work together, we'd actually stand a chance. Really? Join sides. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> When you besiege Fort Thunderpump, look to the horizon. Tapeworm will be there. I'm good. Tell the afterlife, boss! Oh. Get this over with. Ekla zif puta, siz shodu e sisht wichu, michu re wichu. That's verse one of how many? Ah, damn it, we've got incoming. Time out! No one expects Bostonius! No! Oh. Where was I? Uh, oh, yeah. I, uh, yup, yup, we chew che! Dongar era! Dongar era! Rhoda sees nothing! Who wrote this shit? Ugh. Here they come again! I smite thee! I smack at thee. Ah. Time on this world has ended. Okay, one more verse. Alelu ta zif huta! Re, re, re! Rhoda sees Nachin! Shit, the bastards are back! Oh, I was just finding my rhythm! Ah! Pew, pew, pew! needs to 
be replenished. Oh. Ray, Z, Puta, Ray! The foul rod lives, I guess. Now hop in. Let's go get Elijah. I hope he hasn't had to reroll his character yet. Elijah, dost thou live? I live. I escaped from the fort, but Phoenix has me pinned down in a little shack. Hold fast. The bowel rod is coming. No Sandy Krakens shall re-roll today. Ahoy, hoy! You asshole! Do you know how much that ticket was? You're too late, Firebird. The bowel rod lives. What? How did you? Kraken shall see you on the battlefield. to Ninefa and me. Hey, thou made it this far on your own. That's badass. True. And thou hast made one tricked out ride. No doubt. Now let's rev this bad girl up and go take the crown. Hey, we got another company meeting coming up to discuss the, uh, training program. Just call it a train heist. Nobody's listening. Can we at least pretend operational security is a... <sighs> Never mind. It's your turn to get donuts. Fine. I'm on it. Of course there's a line. Nina, grabbing donuts for the meeting. Any preferences? Ooh, give me the special. You want me to check what it is first? It's a donut and it's special. What else do I need to know? Hey, Kev. Picking up donuts. Want anything? Oh, man. I should probably avoid the carbs. I thought it was cheat day. That's Tuesdays. You know, which donut place? Maybe I'll make an exception. Holy cow, it's you! Oh, mama, it's my lucky day! The fuck? Ah! That's right. <sighs> On. Sounds like you're... Oh shit, yeah, you're on the Wanted app. I'm what? Anybody in town could be trying to kill you for the bounty. Stay there. I'm on my way. Just stay there. Next time, Eli buys a donut. I am not dying at a donut shop. This money. Ooh. Fuck 
fucking amateurs. Anytime now, Kev. I'm good. I'm almost out front. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Get in! Hurry! Any idea who might have put you on Wanted? Take your pick. Marshall, the Idols, Los Panteros, somebody's widow or orphan. Right. Pretty sure I've got a former college roommate who might have done it. Well, whoever it is has money. The bounty they set is huge. Look. Holy shit. I'd almost off myself for that money. Is that my DMV thing? Ooh! I had it in here. So what's your plan? Is it better than me murdering my way through every wannabe killer in town? It is. I'm taking you to my buddies, Hank and Claude. They designed the Wanted app. They can take you off it. You sure? Yeah, they're cool. They brought the gig economy to murder for hire. Well, it started as a dating app, but the market was so crowded, you know? I'm glad they found their niche. So how do you know these two hacker guys? Through Wanted. Back when it was a dating app. You dated one of them? Both. We had a really special week together. That's right. Holy shit! Someone set up a roadblock! Oh! Another roadblock. These guys are getting serious. There's their house. We're almost out of this. Hank! Claude! Hi, Kev! What a pleasure. I need a favor. My friend ended up on your Wanted app and needs to get taken off. Oh, I'm sorry. We never curate user content on the Wanted app. Corporate policy! Yeah? How about I put you two jokers on the app? Wait, what? Uh, we got more users incoming. We'll hold them off if you two clean up this mess. Uh, motion to amend corporate policy? Second! All in favor? Aye! Motion passes! Hurry! Take us all off! Sorry for putting a hit out on your friends there, Kev. Nah, they were kind of asking for it. I should have brought a bigger gun! Ugh. For money is harder than I thought! Huh. That's right. You're really making us earn it, huh? Oh. I've been after you since the day I stand, and I'm not gonna stop now! This is the big one! Nice one. Oh! How's it going back there? We just need to update the database. I think you mean reinitialize the server? The posts are in the database. The server is what pushes them. I'm gonna fucking die over this. I can take that money now. Ah! Three bounties in one. Ah, that went well. Not bad. Oh! The gig economy works! 
补。Okay, it's done. The bounties are canceled. Looks like they're backing off. You know, I'm thinking maybe the Saints ought to take that app off your hands for everyone's safety. You mean, like a buyout? Sure. Cool. We own the water app now. Yeah. Oh, but we're super late for Eli's meeting. It's me. I'm waiting. Are we going to plan this train robbery or not? I was just about to call you. It's time to start preparing. Meet me at the church. Finally. Sorry about not being able to connect the other day. A whole lot of people tried to kill me, so I had to, you know, murder the shit out of them, and, well, time got away from me. Eh, it happens. You meet the rest of the crew yet? No, I was waiting for you. Well, let's meet them. Hey, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the new Huali. He's here to make our train rubbing dreams a reality. It's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Eli. I'm Kevin. Everyone calls me Kev. You're not wearing a shirt. Less shirt, more power. I'm not sure that's how it works. Yeah, don't try to figure it out. I'm Nina. It's nice to meet you. Yes, a pleasure. So, shall we plan the heist? No. I thought you called me here because you wanted to prepare for the robbery. Correct. So we are planning the heist? Mm, no. Okay, I must admit, I'm confused. What are we doing? Team building. What? Look, you don't know us, we don't know you. We're putting our lives in each other's hands, so we need to be on the same page. Eli threw out the idea that we should spend a day doing some team building exercises. You know, so we can really get a sense of camaraderie. We have hats. I thought we agreed to use the fleur. This is better. I'm with Nina. I have so many questions. And that, my friend, is what team building is all about. Check it out. The best RV money can rent. Shotgun! Everyone get in! Well, this vehicle is well stocked with beer, but I don't see any guns. Nope. No guns today. So, it's to be knife work then. What? No, we're just gonna have a regular, non-murdery bonding day with friends. Everybody gets to choose one activity they want to do. And then, we all go do it. Hmm. I'm up first, and I brought the spray paint. I know a place in Mercado that's just begging for a Saint's mural. Isn't that Pantero's turf? All the more reason. All right, we get to see the magic happen. So we are engaging in common vandalism. Excuse me? Whoa, whoa, it's not vandalism, it's art. Damn right it is. Art made illegally with spray paint. Look, Nina's really good. It'll be an awesome mural for everyone to enjoy. You'll see. Are you sure we shouldn't be planning the heist? Yeah, I planned today to be just for fun. <laughs> Why don't we cut the tension with a little dubstep? I'd rather hear some ranjera. What are you talking about? When they finally drop the bass, the relief is infectious. We could ask our guest what he likes. Roger McGillicuddy has this amazing new podcast. Nope. Uh -uh. I'd rather no not. No way. Here we go. Not 
a bad example of my orange period, but I can do better now. Let's put some morado in Mercado. This is what you do? Painting? I thought you were criminals. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, this is Pantero's turf. Nina ran with them before we started the Saints, so for her to be here, putting up our colors... Ah, she's showing defiance in the face of her enemies. This, I understand. Oh, uh, shit. We got Pantero's incoming. I thought we'd be out of here before they bounced. I'm not stopping now. Cover me. But it's a murder-free day. Ah, oh, damn it. Perfect hit. Thanks for getting rid of those assholes. Now I can get down to business. And done. Damn, Nina. Another masterpiece. Agreed. Now that I understand the context, it is impressive work. And now that there's no one left to kill, we can get back to having fun. Back to the RV. Who's up next? Me. I have found a new bar on Atchin. It's got five stars, a huge tequila selection, and karaoke! Oh man, it's been ages since we've done karaoke. Hey Nawali, what's your karaoke song? I do not sing with strangers. Then it's good we're friends now, isn't it? I guess anything but Love Shack. Love Shack? We haven't done Love Shack since Ghost Pepper Night. Kevin, we do not talk about Ghost Pepper Night. I made ghost pepper chili. It was too spicy. They were not ghost peppers. They were demon peppers. Spent two fucking days in the bathroom. I got some in my eye. It was bad. All right, let's get this party kicking. Ah, apart from the karaoke, this is my kind of place. Well done, Eli. Barkeep, I need five tequilas, the karaoke book, and a plate of your best flautas. Marshal security, we're looking for... Holy shit, the Nawali! Call the strike team, quick! Fuck, is there a stop? I know, I know. Better run before that strike team gets here. Too late! Have to fight our way out. Damn it. This is not how this was supposed to go. There's ah! not just tank. Oh. Oh. We were supposed to carry those. Seriously, Marshall has hover bikes now? Too cool. Uh, they would be very useful for the train heist. We are not discussing the- I'm changing my activity. Let's steal a hover bike and race it at Jet Ski Point. Fair. You and the Nawali grab the bike. We'll meet you there. Why do you seem to hate your job so much? What? I don't hate my job. You are a professional, cold-blooded killer like me, no? And yet, you do not wish to fight on your off hours. You know, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Look at your friend, Kevin. Everything he does, he does with gusto. Hey, I murder with gusto. I just... Don't you ever want a day off? A killcation? No. Oh. Let's maybe keep that bit from Eli, huh? There 
there you are. Took you long enough. Okay, we're here, we're clear. Let's have some good, clean fun with this baby, huh? Lead on. Just keep point belongs to the idols. Non-believers not welcome! Kev, what the hell? This place is crawling with idols. Yeah, that's how I know the spot. The race jet skis here. Not the plan, Kevin. You're the flying tool of pressure. Looks like there are more that way. This bike will do well for the uh, thing we are not talking about. to the next. Ah! I just wanted to race around on a stolen hover bike, but no! Is that it? Are we done? Can we joyride in peace now? You bet. Come on back and we can... Oh, shit. There's more Marshall rolling up. I guess we didn't shake him after all. Oh, we'll be right there. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Surrender the Nawali and return our stolen hover bike. More Marshall incoming. They're shooting the RP. This is a riddle. Let's try. We'll hold them off. I need ammo. We're supposed to be bonding. Oh. Oh. Ah. That's right. Insist, this is my choice of activity. Nina, head for the old graveyard west of Panther Rock. Oh, this is so not how I wanted this to go. Weapons inside. I'll stash the hover bike. The rest of you keep watch. You, my friend. I have a special weapon you may borrow. Try it out and use it to do what you love. Ooh, hey, thanks.
Now then, shall we meet the foe on our terms? Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Oh, Jesus. The idols found us too. Then let's go fuck them up. Ah! That went well. Get over here! everybody. I'm sorry today went to shit. I had this perfect plan, and it just went off the rails, which makes it different from all your other plans. How exactly? Anyway, don't worry about it. Today was awesome. <laughs> it's true. I cannot recall having a more memorable time. Same here. Not since Ghost Pepper Night. Kevin, we do not speak of Ghost Pepper Night, eh? <laughs> Come on. Hand to God. Even I think that's crazy. Hey, when you're dealing with the Aztec cartel, it's best not to ask why and just go with it. <laughs> it's getting late. I should probably get going. Thanks for dinner, Kev. It was great. Thanks, man. The marinade does all the work. You're too modest. Drive safe. Thank you. And please, make Kev wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Not gonna fucking happen. Let me walk you out. Look, I know we're kind of ridiculous, but when push comes to shove, there's no one I want more by my side than those guys. They're good people. They are. I guess what I'm saying is... I know you're looking at the heist as a one-and-done sort of thing. You know, a debt that you're paying off, but it doesn't have to be. I'll think about it. Please do. Hey, did you bring the packages in? What packages? The ones by the front door. Shit, I think someone stole them. 
Oh, fuck no. I'll be right there. Kevin, run me through what happened. I got a delivery notification text with a picture of some packages by the door, but by the time I went to get them, they were gone. The mail carrier can't have gotten far. Let's track them down and see what happened. Can I help you? You just delivered packages to the old mission church. What happened to them? One of your people took them. Some fella wearing pink. Pink? It's the fucking idols. They stole our shit. Which way did they go? They ran off over there. did we order anyway? Maybe it's my Crucifix workout DVD? I want to get me some Jesus abs. I hate workout fads. Hey, fucker! Give us back our boxes! Get our boxes now, asshole! That's right. Boxes full of knives. Oh, right. It's the knives Nina and I ordered off that infomercial. I hope the number of knives isn't a measure of how upset you were. What? No, the guy on TV was just a really good salesman. Come to think of it, there should be way more boxes than this. They might be nearby. Let's check the alley. I've been waiting for you assholes to bring me my nugs. Why don't we check the FBs? Nugs do sound good. So, uh, why'd you buy so many knives? I mean, this seems a bit excessive. Eh, retail therapy. You look for something to make you feel better. One knife leads to another, and boom. You get like a billion knives. Fuck. I'm... I'm sorry I made you guys so mad. I, I didn't mean to... Whoa, whoa, Kev. We were never mad at you. We were just upset about the situation. Also, we really like knives. We even got you one. We're still missing some. Seriously? I guess there's an idol's hangout we can check out. We fight as one! 
power. I think that's all the knives we ordered. Look, Kev, that one's for you. Oh my god, is that an Oni chef's knife? You guys are the best. <laughs> Just got word. Marshall's money train is heading into town. You ready for the great train robbery? Call the Nawali. We'll meet him at the graveyard, pick up the hover bikes, and go make some bank. Right on time. So, how do you want to do this? I don't know. Drive to the train, figure out where they're keeping the dough, hop on board, and then kill the shit out of anyone who gets between us and our money? Sounds good. Let's move. Uh, wait. Before we go? Oh, no, I, I have a couple on me already. <laughs> Before the whole Saints thing got started, I... I got depressed and ordered a whole lot of knives. I figure if this is our only run together, you should at least get a souvenir. <sighs> it's beautiful. Thank you. Let's get that money. Which car is the money on? Hard to tell from the surveillance imagery. Then we hop on the back and work our way up until we find it. Whatever you say. Incoming fire! Kev! We're okay. We're losing speed, though. Shit! We need the Nawali for this. Plan B. Nina, get me on the train, then go help Kevin. You got it. Hold tight. Ah. Ooh. Made it! Who's got eyes on the target? Ah! How's it going back there? With Kev. Bikes fucked. Sorry. Nina's going to bring me up instead. Plan C. We'll be right there. Oh, son, this is a restricted area. Problem. Marshal locked the train down. I'll have to hotwire the doors. Good thing I used to work for these assholes. We're close. Hang in there. Ooh. Shit. Nina, stay back. They've got a turret. What is your plan now? Um, get in close and try to hotwire it? Yeah, yeah, call that plan D. Ugh. Take out these control servers. System malfunction. Defense turret offline. Turret's down. You can bring in the Nawali now. Closing in. You better keep moving. Looks like they're up to something a few cars ahead. Oh, don't mind me. Just passing through. Train. Nina, I need a lift. I have to drop off the Nawali and come back for him. Do it. Is that plan E? Technically, it's plan B. This is no time for whiteboards, Eli. I'm here. Hop on. Let's catch that train. Is that? Oh, shit. On panels. Take the train! Find the money! Kill anyone in your way! I'm gonna need the Nuali. Fast! 
I'll drop you off and get him. What are you gonna do? I guess... Plan E? you as you deserve. Not bad. This is what happens when you fuck my Sergio. yourselves. Sergio's still around somewhere and he's out for blood. Let him come! I'm past ready to boss battle that crap sack! Sorry if I surprised you. I thought stealth would be our ally. Yeah, no, wow. You just 
killed him pretty hard. Eh, it was nothing. I know. I just kind of figured I'd be the one to... You know what? It's good. It's all good. Let's go get our money. <sighs> you killed Sergio! Oh. You bastard! Oh. Oh. I know how to handle myself against Marshall. Who else wants to take us on? Oh. Cover yourself! You ain't getting any farther! Oh. I'm coming for that money. I've seen worse. Unauthorized entry detected. Let's take this sucker down. System malfunction. Defense turret offline. You do have a gift for destruction. I think I can see the church from up here. Can you teach me that? Hey, Nawali, you ever rob a train like this before? On foot, I mean? Yes, once. In the Andes. It was during a blizzard, so the footing was more treacherous. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I won. Move it. I'm on your side. Another one down. <laughs> Extra jet bikes. Perhaps we can use these to make our escape. You gotta find the money first. Uh, it always pays to have an escape plan. Look out! Seal the car! Split them up! Nuali! Are you all right? What's happening in there? We got split up. I lost the Nuali. Nuali! Nuali, come in! Over! Is he okay? Or do you think he bailed on us? He wouldn't do that, right? That went well. Somebody give me some good news. You're near the front. The money must be... Did they launch a helicopter? Yeah, I'm sick of this shit. I'm grabbing their tank. You're what? I'm calling this plan F. F for fuck it. Ugh! <sighs> 
Falling VTOL must have hit something important. I'm seeing explosions all over. You better hurry. Nina, we need an evac. I'm not in position. I had to fall back. There it is. I see the money car. For once, things went as planned. Let's see how we did. Is that enough to cover the crew? You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> you might even have enough left over to buy some proper stemware. Then they wouldn't be mug mosas. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the knife. Think about what I said. <sighs> I will. And if you guys need anything, just call. He was a nice guy. Sad to see him go. He carved out Sergio's heart. Okay. He was an intense guy. Sad to see him go. Hey, we had a big win today. We should do something irresponsible to celebrate. What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. The money fight! <laughs> 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we don't almost kill Kev. I was in the moment! <laughs> you dumb son of a bitch. I am so sorry, Kevin. Buy me a stand mixer and all is forgiven. Deal. Now that Sergio's dead, I think we broke their spine. Couldn't have happened to a bigger bunch of assholes. There's hardly any of them on the streets right now. It, it probably won't last, but this is a chance to really take a bite out of their territory. Kick them when they're down, you mean? With steel-toed boots. Call me in if you decide to go for it. Careful. Hey, our crew just finished a job. You wanna go with me to get our cut? Sure, meet you at the church. One of our crews just pulled off an armored truck heist. They're splitting up the cash. Stealing insured money. My favorite victimless crime. Let's go get our piece. pull our own heist to pay rent? Yeah. Feels like it was last week. Seems like cheating. Our crew does all the work, and we sit back and collect money? Who trained the crew? We did. And who has the crew's back if they screw up? We do. Exactly. We earned the right to sit back and collect money. Yeah, you're right. I guess we've hit the big time.
There they are. Stole an armored truck and busted it open? Good job. Thanks. Your training video on the weak points of different models really helped. Well, preparation is the key. Eli taught me that. Wiped the prints yet? Twice. She even sprayed it with air freshener, just in case they bring in dogs. I like the thoroughness. Got the money divided and bagged up. Here's your share. Shit, the cops found us. Let's show them how the saints do it. Did they send the entire precinct? This is a lot of heat for one armored car. attention on us. Michaels is coming to us live outside the Santo Ileso police station. I'll make this quick. The Santo Ileso PD has identified a new menace plaguing the streets of our city, known as... Holy shit, that's us! The Purple Shirt Mafia. What? That's not our name? 
As of today, they are public enemy number one. That's why I'm creating a special task force to bring these criminals to heel. A task force? Holy shit! We really have hit the big time. Uh, you do realize this is gonna be a huge problem, right? They can't even get our name right. How much trouble can they be? We'll see. Bosonius, our spies report. House Phoenix is going to attack Castle Kraken. Gather the troops. I come at once. Yo, you built this? It's like you created the fort of my childhood dreams. What's going on? I have gathered ye here to defend our home. Gwendolyn Firebird means to strike us at our heart. She can destroy everything we've built, but I will still defeat her. Wait, what? Gwen's trying to break your fort? Aye. She is a menace of the highest order. Not cool. How can I help? Huzzah! Our bard have joined our side. All hail, DJ... Uh... Kaviticus! Hail, Kaviticus! Now, go forth and man our defenses. Sandy Kraken, I call thee out. I claim Castle Kraken in the name of House Phoenix. What? Gwendolyn fears to do it herself? She is busy assaulting Fort Thunderpump and has entrusted me to bring you to heel. She's going for the crowd today? I shouldn't have said that. Deal with these peons quickly. We must get to the crowd before her. I have seen my death, and this is it. Hold on, not a bullet. Oh. Ah. Pew, pew. Ah. Ah. You shall thwart our queen! Them for a horse. My buds worked hard building this. I have been out. How dare thou stand against Phoenix? Another one down. Sweet. Save your ass! Enemies have breached the castle! Find and eliminate them! Stop them from destroying the castle! Perfect hit. Find the infiltrators. Got him. Stop them from destroying the castle. Phoenix 
are trying to tear the castle down! Find the infiltrators! That was dope! What's next? We beat Gwen to the crown. Get to the bowel ride. And then onward to battle. Bowel rod. Is this one of those games? No, no, it is not. Onward to Fort Thunderpuff. your crown, Dust King. No way! You failed to do the required damage in the allotted time! Ugh, damn it, Carl, you know I did more than enough damage. Do I need to get a rules check? <gasps> the bowel rod? Ha! They're your problem now, Gwendolyn Firebird! Oh, God damn it. Armies of the Phoenix, about face! Smite that hell beast and their sandworm, too! Woo! Yeah! Ah! King, I am here for his crown. <laughs> None shall pass the gate of bones. Then we shall unleash the bow growl and blow your gate asunder. Your meager beast is no match for our superior defenses. We got plus 20 siege damage. What? How? The Horn of Condor. A nice addition by House Tapeworn last year. God damn it. Mm. <sighs> the gate of bones falls to the mighty roar. Onward to the crown. Less rest. Welcome me. I hope from here we go on foot. Too good. So why isn't this place called Fort Duststorm? All the other forts use the house name. They have corporate sponsors. Why don't we do that? We be not sellout bitches, DJ Kaviticus. The king must be in the keep! But how do we get over the walls? We have not the bow rod to shatter the gate. Oh, oh, I know. We can use this ballista to fly us over the walls. Uh, we be but mortals, can. Also, that would really hurt. Come on! We do crazier stuff than that all the time. I don't. The ballista's busted, but I can fix it if you keep the heat off me. Ah. Pew, pew! Oh. Oh. It's dangerous to stay here too long. Rush me. We aren't being overwhelmed! I need more time. By the gods! Are we lost? 
to the victors from 2% off thy next Thunderpunk film! Tapeworm! Sandy Kraken does not stand alone! Tapeworm is here in your hour of need! Let this be the hour when we draw fake guns together! To the keep! I'm doomed! Just need a... a ah! and this will be fixed. The dust storm's reign is at the end! Uh. Ow! Pew, pew. It's a lug nut. How hard is it to find? I want to feel this with my hands. Uh. Ah! Nice one. If you want this working, get me that lug nut! I must reload! Yeah. Uh, I was time. ready to launch! Let's do it! Console! I'm a die! I'm flying! We're in! Not so fast, knaves! Did she just drive in through the back way? That's cheating! Backstage shortcuts are against the rules! No more games. I am here for a purpose. To claim the crown that is rightfully mine. The crown will go to the one who takes it. And that will be me! We're taking you down! Where did that asshole go? Ah! Oh! Moving up! Ah, the battle for the crown! Ugh. Pew, pew, pew! Another one down. I can thrash thee all day! Too much heat! They shall see me. I shall loose my might upon thee. I hit you. You're dead. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Fucking prove it. That went well. I know I got you that time. You're cheating. Anything to beat your ass. Perfect hit. you, Gwen. What happened to the anal retentive, by-the-book, ass-kicking buzzkill that I kind of respect? A little. Sometimes. God damn it. You're right. How did I fall this far? God, you make me so crazy! Jesus, I never meant to break you. If the crown means that much to you, take it. Don't fucking patronize me. You won this time. I'll take that crown off you next year. Got him. Victory is mine! I'm dead, so I'm gonna lay on the floor. To 
to the Thunder Pump throw room! No, please! I'll give you anything! Riches! Power! Just name your price! I come for your crown. You? A min-maxing knave? Never! The king is dead. Long live me. Move. So, are you gonna buy anything? One chocolate milk and a packet of beef jerky. I need a favor. Can you drive me around and pretend to be my chauffeur this afternoon? Wait, you want me to drive one of your cars? I gotta be classy today. Now that I've got money, I'm gonna buy some art from the kind of collectors who have chauffeurs. Come pick me up at the museum. I've been doing some research so I can blow them away. Be right there. So what are we buying? Three Nashoni Fisher pieces. She's my hero. She made these amazing whimsical sculptures, sheet metal welded over steel frames. I promised myself that if I ever had money, I'd buy some of her work. Okay, now keep quiet. I'm gonna call the first collector. Hello. Ah, good afternoon. I was told you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher original. Surprise. Huh? It's a big metal apple with a rattlesnake coming out of it. Ah, uh, that piece of junk. Well, I'm a huge fan of the artist and can make you a very attractive offer. Ah, <laughs> there is no amount of money in the world you could offer me for that. <laughs> My ex-husband bought it as an investment and it drives him nuts that I got it in the divorce. <laughs> Cannot buy that kind of spite. <laughs> but she hung up on me. Well, we could just take it. I don't want to take it. I want to buy it. This is my chance to be part of the art world. Legit. Look, if she didn't want to sell it because she actually loved it, it'd be one thing. But she doesn't even like it. You do. Why should she get to keep it to spite you? I mean, I guess our is meant to be appreciated. Okay, let's get it. That won't fit in the trunk. We're gonna have to tow it. Ah, it is made out of steel. Just drive careful, okay?
This is not how I expected my first big art purchase to go. Let's get the next one. And this time, we'll do it right. Yes? Hi, I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece? Music of the Desert. The cactus statue. Yes. Well, like yourself, I am a collector of fine art, and I would like to buy the piece from you. I'm prepared to pay what it's worth. Oh, I don't need the money, huh? I'm sure you don't, but... But I do need the cactus. Oh, it makes a great place to hang the kids' swimsuits on summer days. Uh, sorry. What the fuck? She's gonna rust out the frame hanging wet shit on it. That's not how you treat art. So... We'll be taking this one as well? <sighs> Looks like. Rust it out just like I thought. I'll need to be extra careful driving or it'll fall apart. I guess not everybody actually appreciates art, even in the art world. Two down, one to go. This time, we do it right for sure. Heidi, Heidi. Yes, hello. I understand you're the owner of a Nishoni Fisher piece, Moon River. It's a cow. Wait, what? That thing? Oh my god. Me and my sorority sisters stole it from outside the Santo Aliso Community Center in college. I was so drunk, I threw up on it. Ugh. Oh, fuck it. We're stealing this one, too.
Ay, this piece is really fragile. Try not to destroy it on the way home, okay? We interrupt your broadcast with this breaking news. The art thieves terrorizing Monte Vista have been spotted leaving the area with a large metal cow in tow. Okay. Good news, we're part of the art world. Bad news, as art thieves. Fuck that. We are art liberators. Now drive. Nina, she's chasing a gal. Get it? This cow handles like shit. Fuck off, my friend wants this cow. chasing us anymore. Must not want a war with the saints over some asshole's cow. I'm really sorry that didn't go down the way you wanted. Nah, those people weren't really art collectors. They were just assholes. I'll make it into the art world for real soon enough. At least I've got the Fisher pieces I always wanted. And I'm gonna treat them right. I mean, once I repair all the damage, we did liberating them. What's wrong, my ass? JR? Calm down, where are you? On the move. God, I think it's that Purple Shirt Mafia Task Force. Those fucking clowns? Shit. I'll get Kevin, we'll figure something out. Kev, we gotta go. That police task force is going after JR. They linked him to us? I thought they were a bunch of morons. So did I. We couldn't even get our name right. JR, I got Kev. Where you at? Just outside the Lancelot Casino. We're on our way. Hurry! Lancelot Casino? Is that the place with the mead and meat and meat? Yeah, I think so. I hear their turkey legs are amazing. We should check it out when things calm down. There's JR. The cops have him surrounded. My shirt mafia is going down! Thanks. I thought I was going to jail for sure. What happened? How'd they connect you to us? All I know is they came to the shop with a warrant for me and my records. Signed by the chief of police herself. I dipped out the back and called you. Fuck, so they have your records? That could sink us. Don't worry, I don't keep my records in the shop. Shit, more cops! This stranger is innocent! That went well. You're messing with the big dog now. From behind. Perfect. We got. 
got this, JR. JR, where do you keep your records? We can't let the task force find them. A place called Happy Cat Self Storage, over in the flats. All right, I'll go destroy everything linking you to the Saints. Kev, you keep JR safe. Got it. The task force is already here. I just hope I can burn all JR's files before the cops find them. It's the head of purple shirt. Got him. Worst filing system ever. One carton down. Now, done. Oh, thank God for no digital backups. are fucking everywhere. Gotta hurry. Halfway there. Uh -uh. Oh. Uh. Damn task force. Getting up in our business. Gotta race these assholes to the evidence. Almost done. Ha! Everybody, play. Better find it all before the cops do. everything. JR's records are nothing but ash. Guys, I took care of the evidence. Whew. You really saved my hiding. No problem. Oh shit, cops are here in force. Fucking helicopter. Fucking task force. Have a real burr upper butt about us. What do we do? 
We're gonna need to lie low? We keep building our empire. When we're ready, we'll deal with her. And her fucking task force. Hey, you, Kev. Eli's calling a board meeting. I'll meet y'all at home. Okay. We got the name, we got the space, we got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, that's cool. Guns work. Sounds good. So the idols hide their stolen stuff in... an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the Codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the Codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah!
The vault is at the bottom of those stairs. You assholes. And it's clear sailing from here to there. Let's go get it. Hello, Saints. We knew you'd try to come claim the Codex eventually. They locked us in. Congratulations on proving your own predictability. Toad's predictable. <laughs> That's not the Codex. It's another fake! And a bomb! It's okay. I can disarm this. Probably. Martial training? Martial training. Got it! <sighs> Those fuckers almost fucked us up. Then we better fuck them up twice as much to make our statement. You mean find the Codex and bust some serious heads? Hells yeah! I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way. Let's crouch this bomb. Uh. Uh. Taken it. They didn't just move the codex, they emptied this whole place. So, how do you empty a boathouse? Of course! The collective's yacht! It's like their HQ. I bet they transferred everything there. Then that's where we're going next. There's some jet skis out back. We can grab one of those. The idols won't shoot at their own jet skis. This is gonna be an epic statement. That yacht's guarded AF. Dude, did you just say AF? Yeah. Abbreviation. First, you fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF, ass fuck, same number of syllables. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every last one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! We're gonna want a different way back. It'd suck to get the codex wet. No worries. Call home for a ride. Hey, Nina. Can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the Collective's yacht? Are you too crazy? <sighs> Let me see who I can find. Really gun for the jumps. That should do it. We can use those ramps to get onto the yacht. Whoa, whoa, bail, bail, jump! Ah. Let's go find the codex. Sorry, did you think you were safe here? the target another one down you saints are going in the drink 
Send me with the chopper. I'll just hover over till you're ready to go. Protect the collector. Go look for them. is here. Yes, let's make our statement. I need a reload. Blowing their feet up. You tell everybody the Saints took your prize. Again? I'm getting really tired of defusing these things. Cut the pink wire. Got it. Ugh. Fucking fucks. They nearly blew us up again. I say we return the fucking favor. Hells yeah. I got the codex. Let's get this bomb to the bridge. a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Hell. Yeah. Six collective members down. We should probably get out of here before our bomb blows up. Good call. Ah, oh, shit. Holy shit. Just keep your head down and run. Don't get too close to the flames and you'll be fine. Grab that speedboat. Shove the codex in the watertight compartment. I'll drive. Phew. Things got a little crazy over there. Seriously. Why does stuff like that keep happening to us? I don't know. Prison riots? Derailing trains? It's almost enough to make you question your whole way of... Look out! Idols on jet skis with machine guns! Let's fuck them up! Hells yeah! I'm gonna head for home. You give them a reason not to follow us. Oh! Ah! 
just embarrassing himself now. Uh. Oh. now. So, what were we saying? Huh? When? Just now, before the jet skis and stuff. Um, probably that we were awesome, stole the Codex, and fucked up Collective HQ. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Talk about a goddamn statement. Hells yeah, buddy. Hells yeah. Who messes with the Saints? No one! I said, who messes with the Saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one. The Saints aren't a flash in the pan. We're here to stay. The four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job. Without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity handed to them but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come. You just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. Setting up for the party. The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. The anarchists are in a state of chaos, huh? Who could have seen that coming? Looks like they've mostly gone to ground. For now, anyway. Might be a good time to move in on their turf. Kev just showed up with the party supplies. Wanna lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Awesome! Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <laughs> it's crepe paper. With a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshal Defense Industries. Ha! Uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. 
by attacking Marshall interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I'm declaring all-out war on that asshole. Hell yeah! It's a revolution! I'll rally the troops. Tell everyone to meet us there. You know Marshall won't fight this kind of war. They'll fight a war of red tape. You need to think this out. I have thought it out. I'm gonna fucking kill Atticus. Saw that coming. But that won't solve our problem. It'll solve my anger. This is a binding legal document. You can't just shoot your way through it. Maybe we try using our words this time. Fine. I'll call Atticus and tell him why I'm gonna fucking kill him. A step in the right direction. You have called Marshall Defense Industries. Please listen to the menu options as they have recently changed. Ugh, what do I press to speak to a person? For customer service, press 1. For billing, press 2. For the complaints department, press 3. Finally. All of our operators are currently busy. To leave a callback number, press 1. To leave a message, press 2. To leave a death threat, press 3. Fuck you. Three. Sorry, that inbox is full. Goodbye. See? Tried words. Back to murder. Murder can't solve everything. You've shut your mouth. I'm just saying we'll need to use our heads to get out of this one. This is more complicated than our usual shit. Look, let's just kill Atticus first so everyone can calm down and then you can think of a real solution. Sounds like a win-win. You know, except for Atticus. But fuck him. Am I right? Wow, you know you two are being enablers right now. Looks like the gang's all here. We're here. Let's bust in and make our way to the top floor. That's where Shithead's office is. Bullets don't cut red tape. Not bad. You didn't get the memo! What team are you on? You give us our criminal empire back! Atticus, you son of a bitch! Come down here and fight me! Much as I'd love to see Atticus fight his own battles for once, that is not a stop. Let me take the elevator straight to him. Reinforcements. Copy that. Stay safe. I don't know what to do to Atticus first. Punch him in the face or kneecap him. You could just shoot him. Nah. I want to draw this out. Make him feel it, you know? Curb stomping? Kind of a pain to haul him outside. None of that will help our cause. You know that, right? Then what will? We could tie it up in court. In court? We're criminals. Not in Marshall's books. I'm sure they'll list us as a corporate acquisition. 
Play it right and we could drag this out for years. We're not waiting years. Except for in this fucking elevator. Seriously, what the fuck? What happened? Why'd we stop? Security lockdown. We're on foot from here. Welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. What may I help you with? Ugh, this shit again. I'm here to kill Atticus Marshall. Do you have an appointment? Ugh, get fucked. I'm not seeing a get fucked in our system. I can make an appointment for you. Take us years to get through it this way. We're not actually getting through. Welcome to Marshall Legal. Shit, it's a trap. There's snipers on the upper floor. Ah, we should snipe them back. Ah. Here's this is now. No. You two go on. I'll make sure no one follows you. Hey, if you get any downtime, search the legal files for documents on the acquisition. Locked. Check the desks. Someone always leaves their key card at work. Why can't I just shoot it? That's not how it works. I told you, you can't just shoot your way through all your problems. Oh, fine. Looks like this elevator is the only way up. So let's go. No key card here. Not seeing a key card. There is an incoming call from Atticus Marshall. So, did you really think you could just waltz into my building and take your little saints back? <laughs> this assault is nothing more than a temper tantrum. You go ahead. Shoot whomever you like. I'll rehire. Destroy the whole fucking building. I'll rebuild. And it won't change it. I'll still own you, because I have more lawyers than you have bullets. In the end, I will. I will always win.
Nothing here either. See? I told you so. You told me I'd find one in a desk. I had to murder this guy to get it. I guess we're both right. Shall we go? See ya! Welcome to the Marshall Executive Floor. Intruders located. Putting them down. Well, shit. in here. and shoot the back.
You go on. I'll see if I can find anything useful in here. Suit yourself. I'm coming, motherfucker. Atticus, you son of a bitch! Wait, Myra Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Then I'll kill them too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board, and I'll scratch your back real good. So, how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right, you got yourself a deal. Marshall is getting ready to host its annual expo. It'll be the perfect time to take Atticus down. Are you ready? Past ready. I'll let you know when we're in position. Good. I left you a thumb drive at a dead drop. You'll need the override codes on it. Got the thumb drive. Myra, it's me. The crew's all set. Fantastic. Atticus will be unveiling Marshall's new AI-powered tank at our expo today. You're going to steal the tank and cause mayhem in the city. And how does that get Atticus fired? A public debacle like this will cause Marshall's stock value to plummet. Once the board loses enough money, they'll drop Atticus like a two-ton turkey. All right, team, we are go. What's your status? I tailed Atticus to the expo. He's getting ready to give a press conference. Good. I want his reaction on film. Who's next? I'm the Hanging Claws. They're ready to help us hack into the Marshall tank. Have him limber up those fingers, then. Eli? I'm on comms. I'm watching the market, and I've already shorted the stock. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. I'll go get the tank and start blowing shit up. I'm here. Physical access to the tank, so do something you wish to lure it out. Hey, assholes! Your security is shit! I could do something me ish with that APC turret. drive in the control port. And at this point, it's probably safer inside than out. I'm in. Now what? Insert Myra's thumb drive with the override codes and you'll be good to go. What is happening? That was easy. I guess Marshall never thought one of their big wigs would help to boost one of their tanks. All right, now that everyone thinks you're Marshall's state-of-the-art AI tank, go forth and destroy. Does it matter what I blow up? Whatever can be blown up should be blown up. The more public, the better. There's a strip mall near you that will make a good target. This is the best day ever. 
stock if you drop that statue. Take out the smelter statue. That's for hijacking our stock scan. Good. Paulson will back off now. The stock should go back down. Like the drivetrain is overheating. We'll run a remote coolant flush, and you should be good to go. You uh, guys want to hurry up? Us uh, hurry up. It wouldn't have overheated if you weren't driving it like a fucking rental. It's a simple fix. <sighs> hurry up. Got him. Fuck. Now the guns aren't working. You're good to go. Thank you. Going around to the front of the stadium to blow the shit out of this expo. Man, I really want to rub this in Atticus's face. Hey, Claude, patch the old fucker through. Patching. Atticus, my man, what's up? What do you want? No, I don't have time for this. Because of that Marshall tank busting up the city? What do you know about that? Oh, it's me. What? Yeah, we hacked your tank. It's been me the whole time. You son of a bitch! When I get my hands on you! You won't. It's not in your tank. Motherfucker! Ah! What we put out in the tank? No surprise there. Shorting that stock? You should buy something nice. Buy something? No, 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 no. We're reinvesting. 
rescue. At rescue, Eli. Buy low, sell high. You know what's low and guaranteed to go high when Myra Star takes over? Marshall stock. Okay, as long as I get a cut. My God, you actually did it. Myra, I'm glad you like my work. Now how's about we finish our deal? To the point, I like it. Come to my office and we'll sign the paperwork. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're just in time for the vote. You think you could fire me? My family built this business! My name is on the goddamn building! Our stock price is rock bottom, and our shareholders want your head. It's the Saints! They exposed the frontier. They robbed my train. They ruined my good name! We've done the risk assessment, and you are a liability. Bullshit! This company's nothing without me! The motion is to terminate Atticus Marshall and appoint me chair of the board. All in favor? All opposed? You have a tie. Now what are you gonna do? Let's ask the tiebreaker. Looks like you're all out of lawyers. Atticus Marshall, you are fired. Get your hands off me! You haven't heard the last of Atticus Marshall! Yes, I'm sure we'll hear you hollering all the way down to the lobby. You held up your end of the deal. And now, so have I. The Saints are all yours. Thanks. We made a good team. Don't go mistaking us for friends. This was business. You interfere with Marshall again, and you'll get the horns. Looks like Myra Starr is as good as her word. We got the paperwork officially signed in the Saints, back over to us. Plus, it looks like she's pulling back on Marshall's military escalation. All those checkpoints on the west side have cleared out. Guess we really scared them off. More likely the bad press was starting to build up. Even in this country, you can't militarize a city that much without pissing people off. Whatever the reason, let's take the win. Back to business as usual for the Saints. got word. The police chief and her task force are making another move. They're trying to get a search warrant for the church. The church? Fuck that. It's time to put an end to this task force. The police chief doesn't have the warrant yet, so we still have time to stop her. You got a plan? Yeah. I'm thinking we'll have a little talk and convince her to drop the investigation. And by convince her, you mean scare the shit out of her, right? Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna borrow Hawk's helicopter for this one. Do a little good cop, bad cop? Sure. Got a preference? Wait, you're letting me choose? I chose last time. Remember? Oh, on the skeezy pizzeria job. Right, right, right. Is it weird that I want to be the bad cop? Why is it weird to want the fun roll? It's kind of your thing. Do it, Eli. Be the heel. Yes. All that practice in the mirror is about to pay off.
always takes a slow break in the car. So if you find the car, you find her. Really? She smoked that much? It's actually quite alarming. Who worried about her health? Oh, her finances. Seven bucks a pack? Twice a day? I mean, that's over five grand a year. If she'd invested that instead of setting it on fire and sucking it in her lungs, you know. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. Here's a car. Got her. What the holy fuck? Hello, Chief Michaels. We need to talk. We're here to make you drop your investigation into the sinks. Who? The Purple Shirt Mafia. Fuck you. I don't bow to criminal threats. Will you bow to criminal acts? Knock around. around the smokestacks. Do your worst. You're still going down. No, you're going down. When we drop you from 10,000 feet. Hey, good cop. Shit, right? Sorry. You kill me, the FBI comes in and eats you for lunch. You ready for that kind of heat? Heat? You want heat? Wandering through a hobby store with the men's arrows? And then I was like, in the priest of darkness, Eli. You know about that? Fuck! Why didn't you start there? I would have caved immediately. Really? Huh. It's good to know for next time. You purple shirts are a bunch of monsters. All right, good talk. I'm just gonna drop you here. The top of Panda Rock? How the fuck am I gonna get down? You'll figure it out. Whew. Glad to have that task force off our back. We really dodged the bullet. Eli, you don't have to dodge bullets when you're covered in Kevlar. Are you telling me you were never worried about them? Ever? No, I'm saying I should get full body armor. Like, full eyes, face, butthole, the works. Let's just get back to building our criminal empire. Without interference. Sure thing. Sky's the limit now, buddy. Hey, where are you? The big party's getting started. We cannot kick it off without you. Crap, I lost track of time. On my way. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros. Fuck the Idols. Fuck, Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. We built this together. Thanks for getting shot, Eli. Should we go in? You guys go. I just want to take a minute out here. Heard there's a party. <laughs> hey. It's good to see you, man. 
I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About the Saints. I've been alone for a long time. I always viewed friends as a liability, a weakness. But I was wrong. Seeing you with Kev, Nina, Eli, they really make you stronger. Yeah, they really do. I want to know what that feels like. <clears throat> well, let's go! <clears throat> Why? Well, because I cannot live your life if you are still breathing. <laughs> Look, you have a lot of heart, but let's face it, I'm just a, a better version of you. <clears throat> You could not even protect yourself. How would you ever protect your friends if someone like me came along, huh? This is for the best. Do not worry. I'll keep our friends safe. so far away, you know? It feels like I'm keeping part of them with me. This is where all our dreams are true. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosa. whiteboard. I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. Try to keep up this time. Waffle line. Did we ever get that for Kev? I can't remember. Oh, thanks for the rescue. Really owe you one. Forget it, man. We're family. What is it I can't remember? I was supposed to do something. <coughs> You're right. I am late. I just can't remember for what. <coughs> oh, right. Game night. I'm here, guys. Sorry I'm late. No worries. We started without you. Hurry up if you want in. Hey! Glad you made it. You've got some catching up to do. But you might still win if you collect three more bears. And I can help you with that. If you get me seven measly little llamas, I will give to you this extremely valuable bear. Seven to one? That's highway robbery! But I'm in. Here, llama llama. Are they always this... bouncy? Jackpot! Got all my llamas? I've got your bear over here. 
I take delivery of seven llamas and present to you one bear. Thanks, man. My bear's gonna kick your llama's ass. Game ain't over. It's Nina's turn. Welcome to the party. Glad to be here. How can I help you? I've got almost a full collection of elephants, but the baby ran away. Got a second bear for you if you can find it for me. One baby elephant coming up. It's gonna take more than a herd of elephants to beat my sleuth of bears. Yes, they're called a sleuth. Snakes? I didn't know we were playing with the snake here. expansion. Don't blame us. You're the one who bought it. Okay. Come here, elephant. Come on now. There we go. Have you ever actually petted an elephant? Don't run. It's okay. Bear. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, Kev, your turn. Hey, buddy. Hey, yourself. What can I do for you? I'm playing a snail strategy tonight. Find me three snails, and I will give you this bear I just happen to have in my hand. Last bear for the win. Wait, where did all the snails go? They're hiding, but come on. You can outsmart snails, can't you? One snail. Damn snakes. Hey, nobody made you buy the expansion. Snails. God damn it, snakes keep getting in the way. What? Oh, they are coming from the barn. That's weird. Yeah, I should go in there and root them out. Forget about the stupid old barn. Stay here and play with us. Last bear for the win. I don't know. <laughs> Snickerdoodle's right. Gotta go in there and deal with the snakes. blood <laughs> oh my god the party kev nina eli you should have listened to your friends you should have known better than to play with snakes help me somebody help eli i'm coming <laughs> Already lost. Hello? Can you hear me? It's okay. I'm here. If you'd been there at the idols party, I wouldn't have gotten shot. Yeah. You let your friends get hurt because you were wallowing in your own self pity. What kind of friend does that? There's no point in... I 
I could use some help here. Nina! Don't you understand? Nina, I've got your back. You? You couldn't even kill Sergio. The Nawali had to do it for you. I... You talk a good game when you're safe at home. But when it matters, you let your friends down. You do not have what it takes. When the real bad guys show up to play, you come up snake eyes. <laughs> Anybody there? I'm here. Kevin, I'm here. Kev? I wasn't calling you. Don't you get it? You're just not a good enough friend. No. Because you can't do anything right. You ruin everything. That's why you needed me. Now you're dead, and everything you built is mine. Your friends are mine, your empire is mine. The saints are all mine. Like hell they are. up, the music's pounding, the party's starting. Where did you go? Antonio's still waiting to talk to you. Dude's sitting here with a big briefcase of money. Let's not leave that on the table, huh? Where the fuck are you? The Nawali's gone crazy. He's shooting. Hi, Nina. You will not be needing your phone any longer. Oh, God. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Uh, you know what would make it smell even better? Let me guess. Pancakes. You know it. Hey, look who's home. How was your day? <sighs> Not bad. I got some blood on my favorite shirt. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some champagne. Hmm. Thanks, Eli. Please, sit. So, what did you all do today? You know what we did. You're upset. You think? I do not like to see you upset. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before- Nina, please! We'll discuss your gratitude later. Hello. Where are they? They're safe. I am coming for you, motherfucker. 
Good. It'll save me some time. I'm sorry. That threw me off. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we'll try this again with a little more energy. And Kev, be sure to have some club soda ready, eh? I don't want this stain to set. Everything smells amazing, Kev. Guns. I need guns to rescue them. Yeah, okay. I know where to get those. My phone's on silent, so leave a message after I drop the beat. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kev, I don't know if you'll... when you'll get this, but... <sighs> everything's gonna be fine. I'm coming to get you, okay? I won't let you down. Hello. You've reached Eli's voicemail. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you'll leave a message, you can trust I'll get back to you within a reasonable time frame. Eli, it's me. You hang in there, okay? You're not gonna get hurt this time. I'm on my way. This is Nina, you know what to do. Hey, Nina. I'm coming. I'm gonna kill the bad guy this time. Arm up quick. Hey, fuckwad. Guess where I am? In your house, taking your stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Let's finish this back where we began it. Finish this where we began it? That's definitely a trap. Fuck. I got no other leads. Guess I'm gonna walk into this trap. Next stop, Silver Gulch. Okay. Gotta get sight. Oh, I know. But only you can decide how you react to adversity. Only you can choose to adapt to the changes that life throws your way. Your friends deserve better. You deserve better. You are more than a cog in a corporate machine. You are not defined by your student debt or your useless degree. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of your life. You don't make $15 an hour, no. You're selling hours of your life away for 15 bucks a piece. So what do I say to the person who wants to get paid what they deserve? Be your own boss. That's right, be your own boss. Now, life, am I right? Life is full of adversity and challenges. But if you want to learn from your mistakes instead of getting punished for someone else's, what are you gonna do? Be your own boss. Be your own boss. Be your own boss. 
You've been an amazing audience. T-shirts, DVDs, and signed photos are available for purchase in the lobby. Thank you, Stillwater, and good night. I'm good. Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. You gonna come out and face me? Or do I gotta come to you like last time? See you soon. All right, here's the deal. You motherfuckers know where your boss is keeping my friends. So how about you just tell me, and then I can be on my way. Any takers? I know it's not likely, but you know I figure I should do due diligence. It's really in your best interest. I, I only need one of you alive to tell me what I need to know, and the odds of it being you is pretty... <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. I tried. Take them out, boys! Oh! Breaking the target! Oh, ah. 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 Get low! Oh. You gonna tell me what I wanna know? Oh. Tell me where your boss is! Die in silver gun. That's right. I'm listening. You'll never leave this place alive. I won. You will never be tried on a wally. New Wally, you fucking coward. Get out here. You will die in silver coach. Get out here and face me or so oh, fucking hell. Shit, 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 shit. Stop it. Maybe slow me down. Oh. Not stop. 
stop me. Got him. Biometrics recognized. Welcome, employee 92245. <laughs> Guess this old Marshall stuff still has me in the database. Bet I can make them talk now. Smaller than I remembered. Nobody's gonna talk? Seriously? Come on, guys, this is just wasteful. believe this hunk of junk is still here. Oh crap, did I kill them all again? Oh good, there's more. Holy shit, there's more. Dude, I've had a long fucking day. Can we? Uh, 
Can we please be reasonable people? I can't. You're gonna say you can't tell me because the Nawali will kill you. Then I'll say, if you don't tell me, I'll kill you. And we're just gonna be right back to where we started, so let's just skip that part. No, I was gonna say I can put the address in your phone. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> That'd be super helpful. You mind unlocking it? Whoops, sorry about that. Um... You're a fucking maniac. Well, you know, I have a lot of practice and pent-up rage. I hear that. Parents? Alimony. Ah. Anyway, secret bunker address is in there. Thanks, man. I'm George, by the way. You're an all right guy, George. When you wake up, you should stop by the church. The saints could use a guy with some common sense. Oh! Now, let's see if my biometrics still work on this VTOL. There you are. Rocket launcher. Cue. Enjoy the afterlife. Real fun. I've got a fucking beach all dumbass. You can't even slow me down. Well, and done. Now for the inside. Let's do this. How long are we gonna play house for this nut job? Hey, look, as long as he's happy, we're not dead. We just need to figure out a way to escape. Maybe I could poison his food? He makes you eat whatever you cook for him. I can take one for the team. Don't be crazy. 
What if we try? Holy shit, are we mic'd? No. This is something else. I want them secured. What's going on? It's for your own safety. It's our roommate, isn't it? They're here to save- uh, uh, Save you? Is that what you- Eli, I'm sorry I hit you. There's a lot going on right now, and I got upset. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. I'm coming. Nina? Kev? Eli? You need not worry over their safety. They are with me now. Alas, you will not survive long enough to see this for yourself. I'm coming to end you, asshole! Just gotta do this. Give up and die already! One step at a time. Just a little further. Don't worry, my friends. Things are going back to the way they were. You guys okay? We're fine. Why is Kev wearing a shirt? Oh, it's a lot. Look out! <laughs> Don't you see? You were never meant to protect them! You don't get it. They don't need my help. I need theirs. You're fucked now, buddy. Everyone okay? We're fine. Real good now. Well, I'll be better when I get this stupid shirt off. <laughs> Find something to hide behind! <laughs> Nobody kidnapped me.
You are fucked in the head. <laughs> I overestimated you. After everything I did for you. I know! Now you gotta be kidding me! Who uh, have open here? Stop him! Oh no, the door, no! Oh hell no. Damn. Get back here, you coward! Handle the small fries. You go kill the shit out of that asshole. You got this. Right. I got this. You're taking the elevator? Come on, face me. Guess I won. As always, bringing a gun to a helicopter fight. It will be the last poor decision you make. You have nothing to say in reply? I'm done talking. You should have stayed in the ground where I left you. No. No. Fucking, fucking smoke! Gotta get out of here! Where are they? Oh! Ah. No surprise there. You are determined, but no match for me. Gotta send that chopper to hell. This time, I 
You ruined every... You guys should come up here. It's a hell of a view. Mortal terror aside, today was a good day. Yes, sir, it was. I'm really sorry, guys. About what? You saved our ass. It was also my idea to get the Nawali's help in the first place. No one could have predicted that much crazy. Bad hires happen. It's okay. No. If anything happened to you guys, I... Hey, we love you. <sighs> I love you guys, too. That's because we're fucking awesome. Here, here. You know, the Saints have only been around for like a minute, and we've already gained and defeated a nemesis. Not a bad start. No. Not bad at all.
Nothing says we've arrived like a giant purple skyscraper. The stairs are great for leg day, but the elevator's faster. It'll take us all the way to the top. You got everything you need up here to change your clothes, your loadout, even your face. This place is nice. Whoa, check out the helipad. I dare you to wingsuit off that. You know, when you get tired of all your helicopters and gunships. And for day-to-day -day ops, we hired Vivian. She's run high-rises all over the world. Hong Kong, London, even the Marshall Building. Fuck Marshall. It's our turn now. We can see our whole empire from up here. Santo Ileso is ours. Congratulations. Thanks, Viv. You've built your empire. Now what? Now we celebrate. And this time, I'm not getting murdered. Shall I make the arrangements? Nah, I got it covered. We're having it down at the church. Where it all started. Sure, and the carpets here are brand new, so, uh, you know. I appreciate that. Hey, you should come. But don't tell Eli Kevin, Nina. It's a surprise. Of course. We're going out for a drive now. I'll catch you later. Hey, we've seen a lot lately. Done a lot lately. Hard to believe there's much of anything left to do.
Boss. I'll tell my brother you said hi. Man, this city on some weird shit sometimes. I'm loving this! What's up? 